Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, and today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag-and-drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Now let's Start the show. Hezzy! What's up? The Hezzy is here. How was your weekend, man? Man, it was good. It you know what I, th- I I I thought about? I thought about how grateful people must be that they can come to this podcast for the most elite basketball takes. <laughs> it's crazy, in yo. The world, right? I was, yo, I that's, was thinking, that's not even our main thing. No, I was thinking that's not that even our main shit. thing. I'm with sports. you, bro. I was I'm with you. I'll be watching ESPN. And I've watched first take, and it's like, yo, it's some good hot takes, yeah, you know what right. I mean? NBA countdown is cool, but here? This is where you get the real here, shit. Here, dog? This here is you, why you stir up the internet. Come on, man, you get some other shit. You know what's so funny? I was telling him before you walked in, uh, you know, don't be surprised if you see a lot of NBA analysts taking our talking points, 100%. number one. 100%. This, this one, what always happens. Number one, but also uh, a lot of the new media personalities. Mm. I can see them stealing our topics, you know 100%. what I'm saying? I can see it. I could totally see Draymond talking about this on his podcast, especially being that we're talking about his guy, right? He will agree with us. He, sh- he, he should agree. If to- he doesn't, what does that mean? Is there a lack of loyalty over there? Mm. Now. Or is his loyalty in the wrong place? Now. Is his loyalty with the Lakers? Now, <laughs> you guys talk that. Sh- my top five is my top five. What's your bottom five? I don't have a bottom five. Come on, bro. Kyle Lowry. Anderson Kyle Lowry. Cooper. Kyle Lowry, because he got that ass. Oh, that's fire, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. I went just but, straight gay guys. You went actual oh, basketball see, players. See, see. Yo, who, is you, who, are your, <laughs> <laughs> who are your bottom five? Don Lemon, Anderson Cooper. Um, are they bottoms? Nah. You think they're tops? Power top energy. Yeah. Okay, yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever, whatever, dude. I'm not well, trying to judge. Happy Pride Month. The only I'm, <laughs> I'm only sketchy about. No, I'm sticking to my gun, Joe. I was saying. I was Were saying, you about to back off? No, 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 no. It was gonna be Michael Jordan, Kobe, Steph, right? Don't let them bully you, bro. No, no, no. I could care less. But <laughs> the reason I'm sticking with Steph is because <laughs> Steph, I've never seen anybody revolutionize the game of basketball like Steph has since Michael Jordan. Michael revolutionized the game of basketball in a way I never saw. Magic Johnson revolution. Magic Johnson revolutionized a position. And then Shaq, Shaq, they changed the way that the game, the defense. But see, you was changed the my game. mind on Shaq. Talk to me. You don't even remember your hot. You had it wasn't even a hot take. You was like Shaq. Uh, his physicality. There could only be one him. Like only nobody can, can duplicate. Nobody can duplicate what him. he does. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can. Try attempt to duplicate what MJ does. Yeah, Steph's effect on the game, without a doubt. Yeah, but listen, I, I, Allen is one you sold me on. I'm like, oh AI. shit, because I always I, I love AI, but I'm like, yo, you right? Mad people came in the league mm-hmm. playing like AI. Mm-hmm. Derrick Rose is the Russell Westbrook, mm-hmm. Dwayne Wade. Mm-hmm. Those guys were AI. But I, I almost feel like we're giving them too much heat right now. Like we already gave them a week of like super hot sports yeah, yeah, takes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I almost feel like we're about to do it again and yeah, you really right. be like the lightning rod for sports culture right. and sports right. conversation right. once again, and everybody's just going to take from us. So, but they, they, but they're going to take from us after the finals, because well, maybe even now, because you know things. This is when things get slim. Basketball time. Oh yeah, so now they need a hot that, take. That's, that's where they that's, come to us when they can't what just talk. Uh, what's it called uh, analytics? That's what I'm saying. You can't saying. talk X's and O's. That's what I'm saying. Like I watched them yesterday talking about Scottie Pippen, just Yo, out here hating. Scotty was. I mean, you could put the ether beat behind that, bro. That was that was an insane face to camera video. LeBron will be the greatest statistical guy to ever play the game of basketball. And there's no comparison to him. None. So does that make him the greatest player to ever play the game? I'll leave that out for debating because I don't believe that there's a great player because our game is a team game and one player can't do it like I seen Michael Jordan play before I came to play with the Bulls. You guys seen him play. He's a horrible player. He was horrible to play with. He was all one on one. He's shooting bad shots. And all of a sudden, we become a team and we start winning. Everybody forgot who he was. 
He think he us. He really he's so does, brilliant. Bro. He's like, what can I say? <laughs> he thinks he's that's us. gonna get the heat back on basketball people. Because these guys are sucking all the air out of the fucking internet with hey, their takes. yo. You know what I mean? Hey, yo. <laughs> so I'm going to jump out here. Yo, hey, yo. Fuck who's the best. Yo, sucking air. Is that what the Bulls cheerleaders did in the 90s? Probably. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> with force. <laughs> They suck that air with force. He's like, damn, girl, I'm gonna name a sneaker after you. <laughs> but but Scotty was just hating. Cause and Tim Legler said the realest shit yesterday. He goes, look, man, there's certain things you can say that ruin all credibility. Hmm. And literally, uh th- that's one of them. Saying Michael J- Jordan is a horrible player. Is that does that say envy? Click on what's trending. Yeah, Click on it. That's 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 envy. That's, that's my envy. <laughs> Wait, do you want to finish your statement? No, no, click no, on it, click on it. Stay with it, shit. stay with it, stay with it. This is brilliant, idiots. Come on now. We can move, we can pivot. It doesn't... Uh, okay. That don't look... Oh, okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, all right. They're talking about the... Uh, we're recording this on a Tuesday, and so we just got back from um, vacation, mm-hmm. and they're talking about... The phone call with Gunplay threatening to slap Envy for mentioning his GoFundMe. And then Envy spoke on Gunplay going off on him. God damn, Taylor, I'm reading. Could you scroll back down, Taylor again? Uh, Envy, yeah, Envy spoke on Gunplay going off on him for mentioning his daughter's GoFundMe on The Breakfast Club. How do y'all feel about it? Uh, at any point, did you hear me mention his wife or, or his no, child? No, and I was here. Charlamagne, no. did you hear me mention his wife or child? No, but to be fair, let me finish. Th- okay, let me finish. So I didn't mention his wife or child, right. and I didn't put the information about his goal for me. He did. Mm-hmm. That I didn't let that cat out the bag. He yeah. he talked about it. It was something that was a story that was reported. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I didn't talk about any of that. And when Gunplay called me, because he's a friend to the room, and he was upset at first. You could tell he was upset at first. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, he's a friend. You know, I'm like speaking to any friend that's yeah. upset. So I let him go. I let him vent. And then we had a discussion. I said, if your wife was offended, that wasn't my intent. And yeah. you apologize. And I said, that's not my intent. I apologize. Which, you which know, men should do. Right. Because I was like, you're a friend to the room, and you felt the way we can have a discussion. Yeah. Now, the thing is, he ended the call there. Charlamagne, how long did we talk on the phone after? We talked for about ten minutes after, and you know. And how was that? How was the conversation? The conversation was uh, very, very cordial. We were talking you know, about we, families. We were talking about how we first started. Talking about how to uh, how, how, to, how to squash this issue between you and Ross, and even mm-hmm. how gunplay. You know, even though he, he's had his his beefs and problems in the industry, yeah. he still was a friend to the room. He would come up and he would do all these things on the show. We yeah. laughed, we joked, we got off the phone positive. Yeah, got off the phone but, positive. But two things we should add to that: uh, the GoFundMe was in reference to an issue that his daughter was going. But yeah. I, I, I didn't. With. I didn't mention. I just. Mentioned yeah, that you had to go fund me. That's all right. I mentioned. And, 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 and number two, I think Gunplay was expecting uh, a, a, a public apology, but you weren't here. Exactly. Mm. Yesterday, mm. where were we? It was all off for Memorial Day. Off, and, and I was last week you were in Aruba last week. In DR, so we yeah, weren't yeah. on air. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were going to bring it back up and have this discussion because yeah. you know what I thought it was? I, I even was, said that last week, though. I said Envy's not here. Remember yeah, me, me and you yeah. were here, Jess? And I said Envy's not here. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. you know, uh, you know, to, when he comes back, he can talk about this situation. Just, okay, so that's why, he, okay, he's training there because everybody's having that conversation. Right. How do you feel about that? What, what, in, in what part? How do I feel about what? I think uh, recording phone calls is whack. I don't like that at all. Like, I hate when people do that. There's, somebody else did that to me once before, and it, all, it makes you not want to have, have a phone conversations yeah. with, it, not, with anybody. Yeah. With anybody. You Violation know what I mean? Of trust. It's just yeah. like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like we're, if we're having a, a phone conversation amongst each other, like, for somebody to record that and not tell you that they're recording it and then putting it out on the internet, that's like, regardless if I'm saying anything, Flavoring or not, yeah. just don't do that. Why would you do that? Like, okay, question coming from Gunplay's perspective here. Did he feel, and I didn't hear the entirety of what Envy said about the uh, GoFundMe, but my understanding about what he said about the GoFundMe was, yo, why does your man have to put up a GoFundMe? Why don't you take care of him? You're the biggest boss. Like yes. This is your right-hand man. Why don't you help him? Was Gunplay upset that he exposed the fact that there was a GoFundMe for his daughter? Well, it because that is a public yeah, every, everybody thing. Everybody right? knew. So I mean, because I mean, I I even donated to it and and I and I reposted it. You know what I mean? So people knew. But I mean, listen, man. Here's the thing. I don't even think that should have been 
I don't think gunplay should have been bought into the conversation Agreed. at all. Agreed. And, and, and I get it. Ross was bringing in a bunch of envy people. He bringing in, you know, he, me and his still, family it, and everything. It's but, a vulnerable situation also with a yeah, kid. Like, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Leave that. Like, that's just, that leaves too much room for error. Exactly. Leave yeah. that alone. Also, envy got kids too. I'm sure he understands the sensitivity with yeah, that. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that part, I didn't agree with, uh, I didn't agree with any of that. I mean, I say that while MV's doing it, though. I'm like, yo, you're going too far. Mm. Just because I know where this can go. I understand how egos work. Yeah, involved. And yeah. I understand how people, you know, play when it comes to their family. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? None of us want nobody playing with our family. Yes, MV don't want true. nobody playing with his family. Gunplay don't want nobody playing with his family. Yeah. And then when you got, you know, like Gunplay said, his wife was crying. So if the, if, if, if the wife comes to you... And like, why are they bringing us into this? Why are they mentioning us? I can see where, you know, there would be some issues. But then be apologized like a man. You know what I mean? He apologized on the phone, the gunplay, like a man. Gunplay said, that. I'll smack you. And if you said, we going to fight. Gunplay. Yo. Yo, Envy on the phone. Yo, Envy. Play with that, bro. What's up, man? How's everything with you? I'm blessed beyond belief, man. Everything is good, man. Why you talking crazy, man? Talk crazy about who? About me, my brother. I, what I had to do with anything, man, and, and, and my wife posting a GoFundMe, man. What that? My, my my baby was sick, man. Was she had a heart defect, my brother? Why? Why? Why has nothing to do with cars? You know, I'll slap the no, shit no, no, out no, you, I boy. I wasn't talking about your baby. Today. No, you I was. was envy, I slapped it. Envy for real. Yeah. I you, envy for real. You know, I'll slap the shit out of you, right? For that, you yeah, know that, no, right? We ain't doing all that. No, 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 no. I'm no, no, no. I want to be clear. I want to be clear here. You know, I would slap the shit out of you about that, right? And then we could fight, but that's not the reason I'm saying that. See, nah, it ain't gonna be a fight. It ain't gonna be a fight. Nah, it ain't gonna be a fight. Envy, it ain't gonna be a fight, dog. If I wanted to disrespect, I wasn't But you did. But you did. Why you? Why? Why'd you bring me into that? I wasn't talking about. Why did you bring me into that, Envy? And so I'll be wrong. So I'll be wrong if I if I'll be wrong to handle my business then, right? But what's your business? I'm, I'm having a conversation with you. If you feel like you I disrespected you, I'm talking to you like a man. I'm like, nah, whatever. Uh -huh. And if you feel I did, I apologize. That wasn't my intention. Well, I need a public apology because that my my wife, man, my wife, my wife, my wife is my wife is affected by that. My my brother, we sat in that hospital for twenty for twenty eight days, homie. That shit was some real shit. That shit had nothing. It ain't even about the money. You know what I'm saying? My wife is in panic mode. My wife put that up, and this is what it is. And that's how she felt that she that she wanted to. She was in panic mode. I told her to chill, but it's cool. We did a GoFundMe. That ain't nothing, my brother. So don't 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 bring my child into this, my nigga. Because then we gonna we gonna we gonna be having bad blood, dog. And if you felt that way, I apologize. That wasn't what I was trying to do. And I fuck with you. So that's what I'm saying. That's I apologize. Thank you, my brother. He goes, yeah, I thought that was handled really well. He goes, he goes, okay, then we could fight. But then he said, I apologize if you took it the wrong way. I thought that was great. He like, he maintained his manhood. Yeah. He maintained his masculinity. He didn't apologize out of fear. Mm -hmm. He was like, listen, if you want to take it there, we could take it there. But at the same time, I do apologize if you felt insulted or, or hurt by that. I loved it. Yeah, I, I, I loved, thought he handled I, that I, very I, well. I thought he handled it great. But, you know, what Gunplay wanted was a public apology. Well, he got it. <laughs> now, now, MB doesn't have to publicly apologize because uh, Gunplay made it public. Yeah, and 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 what I told Gunplay because this happened last. He might have got one if Gunplay didn't post that. No, bro. he was gonna get it. This happened wow. last Monday. Wow. Envy was in Aruba. Envy was in Aruba, oh. and then I was in. I was actually in Fort Lauderdale for a day. Oh, so Gunplay is waiting for this public apology. Oh my God! But this I told Gunplay that if he wasn't there. Yeah, but this is. But like, he's also. But got he his. was still doing the show, so he's like, ah, if you can still do the no, show. No, he you didn't can... do the show. The, the, one one day, he, I don't think he did the show like two days. I don't think he came. I think. He, uh, but still, this is like um, uh, uh what is it called? Uh, uh, oh my God, I, I don't know what the name of it is. But basically, when it's like every episode of Kirby Enthusiasm. Where like each party is thinking something else about the situation. Oh, gotcha. You know gotcha, what I'm saying? Gotcha, like gotcha, nobody's gotcha, on the gotcha, same gotcha. page. So Gunplay's going, yo, I, I was told I was gonna get an apology, but yeah. nobody gave it to me. And look, they're recording. Oh wow, they think I'm a fool. They think they could just ignore me, right? And Envy's on vacation, but he's like, when I come back, I'm gonna apologize to that brother because that's the right thing to do. Yeah. Oh God. I, but by the way, I said this last week when the, the day Envy wasn't there. I say, yo, man, shout out to Gunplay. Yeah. Shout out to Gunplay's family. You know, they were bought into this whole Rick Ross 
Envy thing. Which is unnecessary. That wasn't fair to them. Yeah. And I said, you know, me and Gunplay and Envy had a phone conversation. When Envy comes back, we'll talk about it. You know what I mean? Because it's not my, it's, I don't got to apologize for nothing. You know what I mean? So, uh. so it's like, so, so Envy wasn't there. So we were waiting for Envy to come back. And you know, I guess Gunplay just couldn't wait no longer. Yeah. You know? I don't like none of it. That's why I stand on it. Stop telling me to pick a fucking side. You know what I mean? There's no side to be picked. The side that I'm on is the side that don't want to see nobody get hurt. Yes. It's the side that don't want to see nobody end up in some unnecessary bullshit. Especially my brother who I work with every day. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Who I've been working with for 13 years. My work husband. <laughs> yeah, that, this is a tricky one. The Guzman, as, the as Jess Hilarious calls us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jess, yeah hilarious. Jess is funny, man. She's ridiculous for no goddamn reason. Yeah. Okay? She calls us the Guzman. Yeah. <laughs> that shit sounds crazy. Yeah. Guzman sounds crazy. Guzman does that. Guzman crazy. sounds like a motherfucker that can guzzle so much that's, cum. That's what I was thinking, like, too. Like, I mean, it just never yeah. stops. Never, never. And the husband is just giving you unlimited semen down your throat. And you just never stop swallowing it. You never get come full. On, come, come on, son. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me. Come on, son. Feed come on, son. Me. It's June, son. <laughs> yeah. It's June, son. It's Pride Month, bro. Whoa, I'm on bread. <laughs> Someone edited a dick in his hand. Someone edited a dick in his hand when he put his hand up in the air like that. <laughs> Right. Damn. Pride. Yeah, this one's tricky, man. I don't think it's tricky at all. I just think everybody. Well, no, because Envy is your Gusman, right? So yeah. you obviously want to support him. Uh, gunplay is. Dangerous. I know Gunplay and Rostin for years. <laughs> gunplay is dangerous. So you're like, I don't want to piss that guy off either. Yeah, this is a tricky one. I don't even, listen, for me, it's not even about pissing nobody off. We're all grown as fuck. Yeah. I'll be 45 in June. Okay, mm. like oh, everybody's well over forty-five years 45, old. Forty-five, baby, it, my it, favorite it, president. It, it, Let's go, <laughs> run it back, baby. Yo, that's gonna be this crazy. crazy yeah, if I say this is my Trump year. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. You gotta let it fly. Am I gonna do hey, that to piss people off? You gotta let it fly. Trump year, it's your yo. Trump year, yo. Say what you feel. <laughs> say what you feel on your Trump year, my dude. <laughs> Man, that'll be funny as shit. Now I gotta do it. You gotta. Do it. <laughs> you, you, know, you must do it. You have no other recourse but to do it. It's your Trump year, bro. We gotta oh make 45 God. great again, bro. Man, that is funny as shit. But um, I don't remember the fuck we were talking about. I just <laughs> know. Oh, we're oh, Gunplay yeah. Ross. Cut it don't out. do anything crazy. Keep it funny. There are plenty of nah, jokes man. to be had. No? And I've been trying to, I've been, you know, I've been trying to get, and that was the thing about that phone call. The last 10 minutes was spent with us, like, you know, laughing and basically, like, trying to figure out how to get Ross and Envy back on the same page. Oh, You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know. Bro, oh, God. I hate, I, I don't want to see Gunplay brought into this because I have such an affection for Gunplay after his episode that we did with the, He's it was one guy. of the most iconic Brilliant Idiots episodes ever. This guy's life story. I mean, he needs he needs a movie or something like yeah. that. Like it's just gunplay don't want to be bought into it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Gunplay just cool it out on the sideline, mind his business. Yeah, envy his guy, Ross his guy. Like yo, leave me alone. Yeah, you know what I mean. Now it's like, why? Like all of this is just it's just unnecessary. Like every day is every day something happens in this situation that's more and more unnecessary, and it leads me back to my original point, original <laughs> statement from last week when it all started. Yeah, cut it out. It's going too far. Like everybody, it's not even about cars no more. We're not even talking about cars no more. We're not talking about cars. Every car should have came and went. You got another one on, in Houston on the 18th, but still. Yeah, I, I don't Ross know. Ross one is on the third this week weekend. If yeah, if you beef during Pride Month, you gay. So <laughs> just keep that in mind. If you guys decide to beef. If you want beef, any if, beef, no, for if real. You want if beef, you want any beef during, during Pride, Pride Month, Month, word up. <laughs> yeah, that's a good, yo, that's a goddamn good point. When you, 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 gay. I'm you just ain't saying, wrong guys. when you're right. Yeah, you craving beef during Pride put Month? Put the beef down. You got to put the beef down during Pride Month. You got to put the beef down You are Pride. craving Let the beef, beef settle. If you Let the beef settle beef down. during Pride Month, you gay, yo. Uh, it is... So, so guys, this is just a warning. We're recording this at the end of May. Right now it's still May. We're just letting you know, come June, if you're beefing, it's kind of wild. Kind of wild. Just, it's kind of wild. Oh, it's man. It's kind of wild, bro. You know what else I was thinking about? Put the dicks down. <laughs> now, I salute to all them guys, though, man. You know what else I was thinking about? What's that? Why... Do we insult dogs so much? 
Here we go. Here we go, guys. Here we go. So Why you- are dogs the target of so much unnecessary slander from women? Like calling each other bitch, you're saying? That's one, but I was thinking more of like, they call men who are no good. A dog. A dog. When dogs don't do nothing but be faithful and loving and loyal. Also, what's their favorite position? The style of what? Doggies, that's what I'm saying, yo. Don't call me a dog Come unless on, you're man. trying to get this bone. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> why do y'all, why, why, why do dogs get so much slander from women? And I had a conversation with a dog about are, this. Because they're our best friends. Wait, what? You did what? I had a conversation with a dog about this. Okay. <laughs> and the dogs told me to come on the podcast and tell people God, are we losing them okay. to stop <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. to stop slandering them unnecessarily yeah. Yeah. because of how loyal they are what type of dog was it a, a shih tzu really a fucking shih tzu yo wow straight up and and what exactly did the shih tzu say exactly what i just said could you please explain to all your listeners how offensive it is to call no good cheating men dogs, dogs. When, when all dogs we do is be fuck. fucking loyal. But can I be honest with you? What do dogs do? Dogs have loyalty in terms of their love, but when they see another person, they be kissing up on them. Mm. When they see another dog, they immediately go to the genitals, sniff that asshole. Dogs are kind of philanderers. But they're lo- but 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 even when dogs don't have other dogs around, mm-hmm. they'll just hump a pillow or something. They don't, you know what I mean? They don't look kinda, for nothing else to fuck. They, they kind of like us in that way. Nah, bro. They kind of like us Last in that time, way. When, like, when a guy's horny, a guy tries to go find another woman. You know what I'm saying? Or another guy, because it is Pride Month. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they go try to find another human. When do you ever just say, you know what, I'm horny, I'm going to go jack off and leave it alone? I mean, probably from age 11 to like 13, I was, I was, I was humping pillows and teddy bears and really But when you got the flesh, when you got the women, against, yeah. when you got the women, it was all about <laughs> how many women you could, you, could, you could conquer. I mean, yes, that you go through that stage of your life 100%. Yes. Yes. But I'm not going to lie, sometimes during sex in my younger years, I was like, man, this girl's pretty awesome. But if, if she was made out of teddy bear, then that... <laughs> That would be Nobody talks sensation. about that. Hell yes. Nobody talks about Oh, yes. I was watching an episode of Dave the other day, man, and it almost made me want to get a sex doll. Talk to me. Okay. Talk to me. It almost made me want to get a sex what doll. What race would you get it? Dr. Umar's watching. Black, race? of course. Black, there 100%. we go. I would never let Dr. Umar down. I would never let Dr. Umar down. By the way, Dr. Me neither, Umar, bro. one of the most consistent. <laughs> me neither, bro. There's not a person alive more consistent than Dr. Umar. Wait, why is that? Play Dr. Umar's latest take on The Little Mermaid and Spider-Verse. Oh, look at that hat, too. Always repping the home team. <laughs> Philly, baby. Let's get that volume going, because you know we got to hear him from the beginning. He starts with heat. He don't even need a warm-up. <laughs> Somebody let me understand is he was spider cartoon. I don't follow the cartoon. Spider-Man across the universe. Spider-Man across the universe, and he's bunny-hopping in the damn trailer I saw on YouTube. How the hell you have a black... Superhero cartoon for our children. And he's lusting and thirsting over the skim milk in the damn trailer. This mm. is <laughs> you had a cartoon bunny hopping over the white girl in the cartoon. Lord have mercy. And then what is it, Little Mermaid? They said Little Mermaid is swimming in the milk. She is bunny hopping too. Little Mermaid got a snow. Puppy, insane, brothers and sisters. I can confirm. We can't even have a cartoon with black on black love. We can't even have a cartoon with black on black love. We can't even have a cartoon. <laughs> I, love I love it. The repetition. We can't even have a cartoon. <laughs> Four times. <laughs> it's getting out of control. It's getting out of control. I see it's the goat. You ain't get to the best part. We ain't get to the best parts yet, Taylor. <laughs> The best part coming. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. The best part coming. <laughs> He's putting it together the Little thoughts. Mermaid. Watch me get this down low. Spider Man. Bunny hopping. She probably going to accuse him of smacking her too. He's going to get locked up. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Spider Man is going to be the 
He going to get accused of sexual harassment <laughs> by the snow bunny in the cartoon. He's going to go to jail and lose his spidey senses and they're going to replace him with a snow puppy. The new Spider-Man will be a snow puppy. That's what they're going to do. That's what they're going to do. Little Mermaid going to have his mixed race child and he going to go to court and take the damn mixed race mermaid child from Little Mermaid. That's what she get for swimming in the skin. That's what she get for swimming in the skin. <laughs> That's, That's what she, what she gets for swimming in the skim. Criteria for Secretary Natural here. <laughs> this guy, this guy, is unbelievably the talented. greatest of all time, and y'all gonna show that man some respect. Show him no, some respect. There's nobody more consistent. Doctor Umar does not believe in interracial relationships, even in the goddamn multiverse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Doctor Umar doesn't feel like there is a world. It don't matter if it's Earth six one six eight one eight. There should be no interracial mm -hmm. relationships mm -hmm. whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Now, have you seen the Little Mermaid? No. Yeah, I saw it this weekend. I saw the original one. I never saw the original one. Really? Okay, so break this one down. This is the Black Little Mermaid. What's It's not what? even a Black Little Mermaid. It's literally the Little Mermaid story. She just happens to be black. Like, there's no <laughs> race references <laughs> at all. It's crazy. Right. No, it's not. Because it, 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 you, you say the black, it, it's the Little Mermaid <laughs> and she's a black it. actress. But when you say, nowadays, if you say it's the black such and such, then that means it's like, it's some blackness behind it. So they don't it. make her super black. No, there's nothing about it. Nothing, nothing about her is nothing. black. I mean, nothing about the story is rooted in blackness. I actually gotcha. think they kind of dropped the ball a little bit because I'm like, well, man, how come they don't make this uh, Little Mermaid be set in the Caribbean? Sebastian is from Jamaica randomly as fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He got this Caribbean accent, random as fuck. Like, it should have been... To me, based off like being off the coast of like some Caribbean Where island. Where is it? It feels like France Europe or, or France shit. or somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Under the sea. And it's like, you know, I, I, I have a theory outside of Little Mermaid. I don't think any live action animated movie is good. Oh, so you didn't like the movie? I mean, it's not for me. I'm 40 fucking four years old. You know what I'm saying? It's actually it's, it's, it's driven towards kids. But I just don't think live action movies based off animated films play well. Why? Because there's so much that cartoon characters can do Emotionally, that humans can't humans do, is, yeah. especially the animals. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the beauty of stuff like The Lion King and The Little Mermaid yeah. is watching Flounder, watching Sebastian, watching Timon, watching Poom. It's just things that animals can't do in the live action movie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can never make a hyena look less threatening. <laughs> than making <laughs> a, it a human. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like in a cartoon, it makes sense. I just don't, I don't, I personally. You don't like the transition. I don't like animated films <laughs> turned into live action movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> but what about all the comics turned into live action movies? That's different though. They're comic books. Like to me, comic books are That's different. A good point. It's a cartoon. That's Man. cartoon turned to live action. But it, I guess when you're reading it on the page, like a drawing is different than animation. I will also say for the comics, a lot of the characters, or at least in the ones that do very well, they're human already, pretty much. Yeah. X-Men did well with some like kind of almost not human, but it's not like here's a talking wolf and now I'm going to make yeah. it a person. Mm. You know what I mean? And like the facial expressions, like cartoons. I, I hear that, but the, that's a good point. It's drawings like, are different than animation to me. Yeah, we but don't want to see animals. Is it anthropomorphize? Is that the, the word? Damn. Anthropomo is that an LGBTQIA? Yeah, is that I, I think shit? it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is that is that. Yeah, I just, that is that. <laughs> that Mermaid, is I mean, listen, it just it wasn't bad. It just it's just one of those movies where it's like if your kid asks you questions, you're gonna be very lost. Cause Ariel's father is white, but she looks like she could be mixed. But they don't show her mom. Her mom died. Her mom died. Her mom died from sickle cell or something. What was the? Um I don't know what it was. I didn't know she got killed. Wait, by, did she, she got hold on. Did she die from sick <laughs> drown? No, 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 no. I got a good one. I got a good one. I got a good one. Let me start again. Let me get it. Let me get it. Uh, technically, her mom died from a uh, sickle shell. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, man? <laughs> sickle shell, dude. Sickle, sickle shell is good. crazy. Good. Sickle shell. Dude, sickle oh shell. You God. know that that's been affecting black mermaids for years, dude. 
That is a huge problem in the <laughs> Black so Mermaid stupid, community. Man. Getting uh, sickle shell <laughs> anemia. Is it sickle shell anemia? That's a good ass fucking joke. Yeah. But but no, she died. Did she die in the original? I never saw the original. She was never there in the original. Because she got killed. Yeah. yeah, she got killed by humans in the original too. She got killed by humans? Yeah, that's why they, that's why the mermaids don't like humans. Well, at least her father. That's why her father doesn't like humans. Well, he but, has a good reason. But listen, her father. She has like seven sisters in this movie. Hey. But they're all different colors. They're black. They're Indian. They're white. Like, and the only thing I could chalk it up to was fish, right? Fish have a bunch of different colors. No, they don't. Not the yes, same they do. type of fish. You sure? Yeah, Charlemagne the God. I don't know. When I go snorkeling, I be seeing like mad. You uh, see different, different types different of species. fish. <laughs> they're not all brothers and sisters. I don't know. When I go. To you sure, yo? This guy is crazy. Google that. Son, Google that. Google I, don't, that. I, I don't believe that. No, 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 no. I don't believe that. I think different. I think you can have different colors of fish in the same school. Look at this. She actually used the right word. That's the right word. School of fish. Exactly. No, she's nice. Taylor's exactly. nice. What are you talking about? Talk about what you talking about over there, Taylor. Google Taylor. <laughs> Taylor, what are you talking about over there? Google Taylor. Did you go support black women this weekend and watch didn't. the movie? Of course she fucking didn't. No, she didn't. Of course she didn't. All this talk about black women this, black women that. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Can Taylor. you turn the mic towards Schooling you at least? fish species. Flip the mic over, Taylor. Gang. What did you What did you Google, Taylor? <laughs> what? You know what? <laughs> you know what? It's all good. Hey, listen, it's all good. How should I say it? How should, listen. How should I put it? In the put can, can fish be can fish be different colors from the same school? Put put can you segregate a fish co a fish colony? Be different. Can fish be different fish in school? Can fish be can fish be different colors same school? <laughs> You know how to Just spell put colors? Dr. Umar's opinions on fish, question mark. <laughs> Don't put in school, put same school. There you go. I mean, this is this is this right here is the this is peak podcast. Fast fish from Ridgemont High. <laughs> Let's see. It appears fish, fish don't, don't use, use colors as a way, way to discriminate against one another. But see? that's different species, Charlemagne. The, uh, si the uh, species it said others of their species. Fish don't use color as a way to discriminate against others oh. of their species. I have seen schools of wild goldfish, most of whom are the natural wild olive bronze color, have white and orange colored individuals mixed in. Sometimes even individuals Actually, of two or more true. species. Sometimes koi fish, Chris, you could speak to this. Sometimes they're like, <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're, 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 they're orange, sometimes they're white, they're, right? They're different color uh, koi fish, so. Yeah, sometimes even individuals of two or more species will swim together in groups. I'm telling you, when I, I like I like the snorkel. I don't know how much snorkeling I'm going to be doing now because I just saw somebody got their leg bit off in Turks and Caicos. But, oh, yeah. And it was on a snorkeling expedition. No. <laughs> yes, man. Bit off by a shark? Yes, like fucking, like that happened like last week. But you can go, I love looking at reefs and you'll what see. What they look like? What do you mean? Like what, what race were they? Oh, I have no idea. I, I, I don't know. I know that shark didn't give a fuck. All that shark saw was human. Maybe. But you can see the fish, if you go look at certain ecosystems of fish, it'll be the same fish. They just be mad different colors. So that's the only thing I could think about. With the Little Mermaid, I'm like, well, maybe they just, even though they're all from the same school, they're just different colors, but they don't explain that shit to you at all. But that, I guess sometimes... And the prince's, the prince's mom is black. And he's white. Come on with all this, dude. <laughs> so, but when I asked about that, my wife was like, he's adopted. I'm like, did they explain that? I don't know. All I'm saying is if you, if you got a child, luckily my child didn't ask me none of those questions because I had no answers for him. You mm. know what I mean? Because my answer would have been... They're just trying to make a lot of money internationally, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That would have been my actual answer, you know? Yeah. They are, though. Did you take your kids to see it, Chris? No. Why they, not? They got Asian mermaids. Sure. No, they do. Seriously. But why didn't you do it? Uh, my kids were at the Taylor Swift this weekend. That was their Ooh! big event. Oh. Oh. Rich kid problems. Your kids went to go see wow. the, rip, the big fish. Wow. Your kids went to go see the big fish, big fish. Did they see Ice Spice? They saw Ice Spice. They were very excited. Respect, yo. Yeah. Shout out. Oh, because Ice Spice Asian. No, she's shut up. <laughs> 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 oh, well, some, didn't it? According to Taylor Swift's boyfriend, yes. Oh, shit, that's not real. What's that? 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Now, Wait, Taylor this is a real thing. Taylor Swift's boyfriend did some heat. That's why they say Taylor Swift brought no, out he, Ice No, Taylor Swift's boyfriend did say some shit like that about Ice Spice. That's what I'm saying. He's, he's in, some, in some heat, and people are saying that's why Taylor brought out Ice Spice, because her boyfriend, I guess, talked some shit about Ice Spice, but it was a joke. It was on a podcast. It was a, it's a podcast Adam where the guys, yeah. yeah, yeah, where they like, they're, they're, they're comedians. They're busting balls. They're having fun, and he's trying to do up, comedic Taylor? shit. Yeah. When, when are we gonna get past that stage in life? When What's are we gonna that? get past the stage in life that everybody takes shit from podcasts seriously? I mean, you gotta take our sports takes seriously. Yo, no, we're the best. We are the best. By yeah. the way. I'm gonna tell you why brilliant idiots is the best. Oh, it's about because we be called fire. ourselves brilliant fucking idiots. We Ooh. knew from the beginning where podcast was going. Yeah. From the beginning, we let y'all know. Some might even say we started it. Charlie. We started mm. this shit, yo. Because everybody was trying to be smart only. That's right. When they were on TV. That's right. And we was like, we'll never be able to fill two hours trying to be smart. Nah, can't do it. That's Don't right. Don't have enough smart thoughts. That's right. Let's be stupid. Let's be stupid. We could do that for longer. Boom. <laughs> you Boom. know what I mean? <laughs> 10 years, 4 episodes. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Wait, wait, you don't have the audio? The guy is making a joke. You got to leave this guy alone. I just like to hear it. It's hard to tell what is Ice Spice. That's with them. Ice Spice, you know who that is? Nick doesn't know it. She's like one a, of the Spice Girls. Yes, that's she's right. Like she's like this rapper. She's the rapper that has Spice she's a Inuit Spice Girl. <laughs> Just this chubby Chinese <laughs> lady. <laughs> yeah, I'm rapping <laughs> music. Do they talk like that? Do Inuits talk like that? They don't talk with a Chinese accent. They talk like a, a more Hawaiian style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more yeah, Hawaiian. They, yeah. Welcome to Hawaii. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Locals only. Locals <laughs> only. <laughs> Coconut. <laughs> yeah, that's what Ice Spice is like. Uh -huh. She's a very attractive woman yeah. that released one song and basically... So you slide like, in your DMs, you're like, yeah. so what are you, a fucking Eskimo or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was like, you fucking dumb yeah. dude. She's Nigerian and Dominican, you said? Yeah. Hold on, Ice Spice is Nigerian and Dominican? Yeah. Well, salute to Ice Spice, man. Um, let's pay some bills. Most in course. Uh, most in course. Some is when you get to be your real self, okay? So cool off with the only Spike lemonade that has real fruit flavor, Simply Spiked, okay? Simply Spiked lemonade, ready to drink Spiked lemonades. Broke the internet when they dropped four bold, refreshing flavors last summer. Get real with signature lemonade, strawberry lemonade, blueberry lemonade, and watermelon lemonade, all with the taste of real fruit juice. And by popular demand, Four fan favorite peach flavors are now also part of the Simply Spike family. Get juicy with signature peach, strawberry peach, kiwi peach, and mango peach, okay? All flavors of Simply Spiked are crafted with 5% ABV and 5% real fruit juice, squeezed, then concentrated, okay? Some is getting juicy. So go to drinksimplyspike.com slash idiots to find out how to get your hands on Simply Spike Lemonade and new Simply Spike Peach. That's drinksimplyspike.com slash idiots, okay? Flavored beer, naturally flavored with other natural flavors. Simply Spike Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Celebrate responsibly. Simply Spike is a trademark of the Simply Orange Juice Company. Now let's get back to the show. Uh, church announcements, what we got, Hezzy? Yo, a uh, couple more dates that we've been adding this summer. Uh, June 9th and 10th, I'm going to be in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, the 16th and 17th, I'll be at Kansas City, Missouri. And um, also July 21st and 22nd, Oklahoma City. Uh, we just added those shows right now, theandrewshows.com for tickets. Got a bunch of other cities up there. And then uh, next week, very excited, um, big announcement next, next week. You got a big announcement next week? Big announcement next week, yeah. How big? The biggest. On a scale of one to that um, black guy sitting on that bed with that dick swinging. You know what I mean? I'm talking about mm -hmm. <laughs> vividly. Really? Yeah. Uh, what is his name? Is uh, he has a name? Yeah, Rudy <laughs> Joubert the third or something like really? that. Really? Yeah, yeah. We looked him up. Yeah, he died. But we he had to died. We had to pay his family to use his image for the Netflix special. Get the fuck out of here. How'd he die? I don't know. But Damn. Yeah, he that was, hurt my heart. I didn't know that. He was well. He probably hurt a bunch of girls' hearts, man. Man. Because, man. Yeah. No, all he, that dick, bro. Yeah. I thought he was gay. Rudy Joubert III. I'm Wardy pretty, Joubert III. Wardy Joubert III. Wardy Joubert the yeah. Third. Yeah. Yo, that's crazy. Gifted. Gifted. I wonder when you have all of that dick, like when all that blood has to go to your penis. Yeah. Does it take away from any other part of your body? I think, you think? it's harder to make decisions. 
I can I think imagine. It's hard to make decisions. I can imagine. Yeah, I think your brain is depleted. I can imagine. One hundred percent. But yeah, so next week, excited to tell you all about that. Uh, make sure y'all go check out some of eighty five. Uh, that's a project we put out on SBH Productions uh, from our guy Chris Moreau, loudspeakers. Um, make sure you go check out Finding Tamika, and we got another one uh, that I'll be announcing real, 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 real soon, man. Real soon, like sooner than you think. So y'all get ready for that. Also, um, I can't make the uh, roots. Picnic, the roots, picnic. man. I'm sorry about that, man. I'm sorry, guys. Hezzy, Hezzy won't be there. Charlemagne's still holding it down. Yeah, I'm gonna do something. Special, special guest, TBD. TBD. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Who do the you big got? Dick. Who do you got? I don't know yet. Okay. Now we working. I'll be working on some things though. It's gonna be. We are gonna have a good time. I, to be honest with you, I haven't done a live podcast show in so long. Yeah. But uh, I can almost assure y'all that I will be in conversation uh, with somebody. Somebody that that you know, y'all will enjoy. Good. Yes. Good. good it's a lot good, of people good. there that weekend. Um, Raven Simone says everyone she's dated has to sign an NDA. It took me a while to wrap my head around it. Uh, play the audio, Taylor. During a recent podcast interview with Howie Mandel. Jesus Christ. Play this. Raven Simone says everyone she's. Dated, had to sign an NDA. It took me a while to wrap my head around it. Miranda's family has been in the industry, so she grew up around it. And we started exchanging, conversa exchanging conversations, exchanging stories in similar scenarios. Um, she was never in front of the camera, but she understood the struggles that it took to be that person. She was a personal assistant for a while for people in the industry and things of that nature. So when I would bring something up, she wouldn't just shrug it off she actually asked me a question about it to dig deeper and I got angry at first because I'm like why do you care why what are you trying to know are you going to write a book about me later so all of my relationships especially when I started obviously when I started dating I had to get people to sign um NDAs, NDAs. and it took me a while to get, wrap my head around it because it's just very impersonal but someone in our position needs to do that when do you ask somebody when you're dating them we will go back to the story Somebody asks you out, when, at what point in the date or the relationship do you say, uh, I have some paperwork for you? Before the naughty times come. <laughs> but, but, you, no, but, I'm serious, but, like right before naughty time comes. So you have, you have uh, paperwork on your nightstand? Yes. <laughs> Not always on the nightstand. It might happen the day, like right. the day before, or whatever. But, but, but I'm saying, so naughty time is coming. It's like, like you know, the juices are flowing. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> and you're ready, but you got to stop. You know, what I'm saying, I'm just trying to understand. I've been married for 42 years. I'm from a different world. I'm just, so you say, uh, you know, yeah. oh, you know what I'm going to do to you? After you sign this. <laughs> and you know it's gotten worse? Now they have consent forms. Now they have consent forms to so are like, are you okay with anal? Are you okay with this? Can I do this? You can do this to me. And now you, that's a part of it now. It's all on the same page? Or do you, do you sign the first papers, and then if you want to roll her over, you have to sign another one? What okay, the so fuck? Front and back, please. <laughs> if I was single in 2023, I would totally understand this. Yeah, but thank God we're not. Man. Yo, it, uh, making your child... Famous should be criminal. Tell me why. It is just so hard to come out unscathed and you have such distrust for other human beings. Like, think about what she had to go through at a young, impressionable age where she felt every single person she was about to be intimate with would take advantage of her in some way. Because she's not... She's not coming from the position where like a famous guy is coming from, right? Where like a girl could lie about something and then me to him or whatever. She's strictly coming from the position of this guy could be seducing me just to share stories about me. Well, Raven's a lesbian. Oh. Even crazier. You'll 
Mark that, Alex. <laughs> just bleep it, just bleep it, please. Just bleep, no. just, just bleep it, blur his no. mouth. No. Just, yeah. <laughs> so I guess, I guess, yeah, I guess a girl could be, <laughs> I guess, I guess a girl could be to her too. But, uh, <laughs> That, that that seems like a lot in NDA just for does some it hugging in, and shit. But does it in twenty twenty three? Think about what we've seen the last four or five years. Is that a lot, or is that you really protecting yourself? Because man, we really live in this era where everybody's chasing clout. Yeah. You can't trust anyone. So th- but think about that. Like at such a young age to not trust anyone. And at such a young age to be taken advantage of, and at such a young age to be telling an adult a story because you think they're interested in you, and then the next day you see it printed in the post. Every single person that you're engaging with, you're like, is this person trying to get something from me, take advantage of me in some I, way? I don't even think this is a child star thing, though. I've seen, I know a lot of people who do this. Yeah, but at least as an adult, you're choosing to put yourself in this position with other human beings, and you're sacrificing that you know, social dynamic that most people have that would be, you know, way, uh, hmm, I don't know, way more normal. Yeah. As a kid, you never even learn to develop that normalcy. You don't even have an expectation for it. Well, she's been a celebrity forever. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah, like, yeah, 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 it's, yeah. It's, I think it's borderline criminal to like support your kid being famous. Like name, name, uh, name someone who came out of that unscathed. How many famous kids? It's a lot of them. Ron Howard. Kim Fields. Ron Howard. Kim Fields. Ron Howard. Yeah. Uh, I don't know the guy. He could be insane. How young was he when he was famous? Uh, he was on Opie. Opie. He was probably under 10. Okay. Zendaya's wow. another one. Zendaya's going on a nice path. Zendaya looks like she's in a perfect position yeah. 100%. Don't get me wrong. There but are they're, ones. they're outliers. But no they, they are the outliers. There are so many that have just like had this absolutely, you know, just... I don't rushing. I agree with you on that, but I don't think anything Raven's doing here is 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 out of the ordinary for 2023. It's not out of the ordinary for 2023. You just wish she didn't have to do it. I think we should to be honest with you, yo, you gotta sign an NDA just to hang around us. Like if somebody was to come in this space right now, yeah. like you almost gotta do that. People be going on live. Yo, you think about all the shit that could cost us things just because we in here having regular conversations that we yeah. that should be amongst us, but somebody just turns their live on. Yeah. Like I, when I walk in the studio every day, what do I say? Who's on live? <laughs> turn, turn that shit off so I can get Mark. this shit out. <laughs> <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? Because that's just the truth to the matter. You just yeah. don't know. It's like, yo, you should have to sign an NDA. Somebody come over your house. You might have to make them sign an NDA. Don't talk about what you see in here. You know what I mean? Like, and it don't have to be anything salacious. You just don't want nobody getting on social media yeah. talking about, oh, I saw this in such and such's house. Or, it's just a shame that somebody might do that to you and it's, like it's, might enter a relationship with you specifically to profit off of you or monetize you. Or so I just something. think that's the world we live in. Yeah, it's, oh, it's unfortunate. People walking around with this and they're validated it's, by this. It's unfortunate. And they're rewarded. And I, I don't want. I don't want my kid to to feel that at a young age. I want my kid to be able to engage with other other children and- Impossible. Yeah, I Those was just gonna actually, over. like child stars, I can see how you say that's criminal, but what about if you're just the child of a big celebrity? You don't even have to be a child star or a child of a celebrity. Nowadays, this is, they're stars in their own world. Hmm. So there's people yeah, putting, they, every, every you're, we're all a part of somebody's reality That's show. That's actually interesting. Like these kids can get big on TikTok yes. or Instagram or something like that, and they're like making themselves celebrities. Yes. Yeah. We're all part of somebody's reality show, yo. Just to, to go through that level of scrutiny, like you see what we go through on the internet, we're adults, right? So it's like we can put up with people having these opinions on us and that's part of the thing. That's what you sign up for when you decide to do this shit. But like a young kid, ooh. That's what I said today about Blue Ivy, right? Because, you know, they were talking about Blue Ivy's dancing and you see all of these adults, which I think is so strange, why having you... such an opinion on this, right? Oh, no, I'm saying, like, why? Like the Kardashians, like, creating these Instagram accounts and shit for their children. It's like, what are you doing? So, what are you talking about? The little kids on yeah, the no, TikToks yeah, all the time. Yeah. No. yeah, but it's... But that's what I was saying about Blue. I was like, do you think Blue is reading yeah. this shit? No. No, I'm saying uh, Kardashians separately. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. She minded her business. Listen, you, you got your little kid in the living room doing them same type of dances right now for the family on holidays. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Blue, Blue is on stage in, what's this, Paris? Is she performing? Yeah, this is a this is a show. Like, this is Beyonce's show she comes out and performs in. What I like about this man 
is, yo, she's probably never going to have stage fright. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Ever in life. Her public speaking skills are going to be through the roof. There's no crowd that's going to ever intimidate her, yo. Yeah. Ever. I just don't understand how you could have an opinion at, of her at a... She's 11 years old. She's yeah, like, to, to leave, the, leave kids like, alone, man. It's, it's, adults are very... We're, we're a strange species, and you wonder why Raven Simone got to sign an NDA. <laughs> but I mean, at the same time, if you put your kid out there, you, you can be so, critiqued. So it's like, it's, 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 it's one of these things where it's like, I understand what you're saying, where it's like, I critique... I'm critiquing the parent for making the, for doing the thing, for basically putting the kid in the position to be criticized. Mm -hmm. That being said, right? This is your life. This is your world. And you want to share that with your kid. They, they say, uh, you know, more is caught than taught. That's right. Right? You can teach a kid all these different things, but the reality is they're going to replicate what they see in you and what they see in the influences around them. So, what if it was bring your child to work day in Paris? Well, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. What if it's on, and, it, this, and I'm making the argument for Beyonce and Jay-Z mm -hmm. here, even this goes against what I just said. What if the idea is she's going to go through this criticism whether we protect her from it or not mm. because she is our kid. She needs to learn how to be comfortable with it, deal with it, so that it isn't as much of a burden. Mm. Now, it's a dangerous fucking game you're playing, right? Because it could crush her self-esteem before she has the opportunity to develop it, or it could create unbelievable resilience so that she's prepared to handle that scrutiny that she will inevitably get just because she is the, the, the daughter of a famous person. And that's, uh, that's us assuming that she's paying, like, I'm sure Blue Ivy's not looking at none of this shit on social media. Her parents might be. Right. And people around her, her grandma, but she's not looking, she's not looking they're, at this shit. Really so think smart, she's dude. not gonna look at They're that? so smart. These nah, kids are so adept on, when it Charlotte. comes to the iPads. They can look, they can look up everything. They can go on YouTube. They can look at the comments. They can. I'll tell you the difference though. Her parents don't have those habits. The Kardashian kids might be different because they live their life Obsessed reality television, social media, yeah. like her parents don't have her parents don't have those bad habits. Also, like when you've dedicated your life to something like entertainment and 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 uh, and these you know live shows that Beyonce and Jay Z have, it's really hard to love something so much and not share it with your kin. So like having them be a part of it is probably really special. Because if you don't you might lose a lot of valuable time that you would spend with them. Exactly. You're, you're working on this 12 hours a day. That's you might right. as well have them around. That's right. That's right. This is better, this is, this is better than school it's in like a lot Steph of ways. It's like Steph Curry shooting around in games with his dad before, you know what I mean? Like uh, shooting around before games with his dad, Dell. Like you saw Steph always around. See, see, see this headline I hate. What is this? <laughs> Beyonce fans give mixed reactions to her daughter, Blue Ivy, performing with her on stage during Renaissance World Tour. She doesn't look happy. Can I, I need to really tell y'all motherfuckers something, man. Y'all not happy. <laughs> I'm so tired of y'all projecting y'all feelings and emotions onto other people. That's all the internet does. Y'all not happy. Mm -hmm. Not once did I look at that video and I said to myself, damn, Blue Ivy don't look happy. Yeah. Where, do you, where did you get that from? Maybe she's nervous. Maybe she wants to get it right. Maybe she's performing in front of the people for the first time. Yes. She's concerned about how it's going to look. Maybe she's concerned about an article coming out criticizing her while she's <laughs> on stage, so it's hard for her to stay in the moment and be joyous. By the way, what you just said is absolutely right. Because yeah. we've only saw Blue Ivy on stage, like, what, once before? She, did, like, she, she came out at, like, a, a residency show that Beyonce did. So you're right. This is probably the first time she's been on stage in that way. So this probably was her first time. So of course there's gonna be nerves there. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers are sick, yo. Like well, for real, we are, like human beings are a sick bunch of people. Bro. That's life, you know the song? Frank Sinatra song? That's life. That's life. Some people get their kicks. Fuck, that ain't gonna be Frank Sinatra when I get done with it. Stomping on a dream. That's gonna be Kodak Black. But do you know that line from the song? No, I just know that's life. That's life, but there's a great line that says, some people get their kicks stomping on a dream. Right? That's the internet in a nutshell. There you go. Mm. People Before get the internet. stomping on a motherfucking dream. That's humans in a nutshell. No, nah, that's been, yeah, that's been life That's just what we are. Uh, man shoots roommate over hot pocket. Goddamn, bro. Respect people's boundaries, man. <laughs> Come on, son. You ate the last fucking hot pocket, yo. Now, you know that wasn't yours. Here's the thing. Oh, he ate somebody else's food. He ate somebody else's hot he pocket. He stole. He stole. That, yes, and I'm not saying that it was worth a shooting. All I'm simply saying is you can't tell people how to react. 
You know what I mean? You don't know what people are going through. You don't know what that hot pocket meant to that person. Clearly, it meant a lot. Is that, that breaking and entering? Is the hot pocket yours, your space, your domicile? Yes. So if somebody breaking, breaks and enters your home, you can shoot them. Boundaries. Respect my boundaries. Question for you. Yeah. What do you think was hotter? The bullet in that guy's <laughs> ass? This guy's or crazy. when you bite into a hot pocket <laughs> <laughs> 30 seconds after taking it out the microwave? Yeah. What's hotter, yo? <laughs> what, do you, what do you think is hotter, yo? <laughs> nothing hotter than that hot pocket. Mm, mm. On, yeah, nothing. Not even, nothing not even close. Not even close. Not even fucking not close. Even cl- he didn't even feel the bullet. Did you see Kanye? What did he do? Pull up Kanye, man. Pull up Kanye in his latest attire. I told you. Kanye is coming back, bro. You yeah, shut the fuck he's up. Sorry, he's coming you back. You didn't even see this shit. We yet. Told, you talking we, about Kanye's coming back. He's, oh, I definitely saw Yeah, him. he's back, all right. What's up? We talking about him. He can't buff. Those are shoes he has on. Right. And a shoulder pad shirt. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I don't even, I don't even know what to say, really. To be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just no comment. I mean, just no comment. And then the shit says whatever the word is for police in Italian. On, uh, that's what that is, Italian. Polizia, polizia. Oh, I thought it was German. <laughs> Kanye look like he want beef, bro. Maybe it's German. Kanye look like he want beef. If it's German, that's months. wild, bro. I think it, it might be. If it's German, that's wild. Let me look at that. Is it? I don't know. If it's German, What's the word? What's the word, Taylor? German is polizzi with a Z-E-I at the end. That's it? Oh, that's yeah. it then. Wow. That's polizzi. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker crazy. I ain't even know that. I ain't know what that shit said. Don't women wear blazers? That have shoulder pads. I know not to this extent, but they did back in I think the eighties. Oh, they stopped doing that. But not to like to your point, not to that extent. This motherfucker, like he going to audition for any given Sunday part two. Yo, what what was happening in the eighties where where dudes were into women with big shoulders, bro? What, <laughs> what was happening, bro? <laughs> what was happening in the eighties? Only reason Kanye doing this is to offset his hips. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's like, if I bring attention to my shoulders, nobody will pay attention to my big ass hips, man. I don't want to get on this diabetic pin that's making everybody shit on themselves. Nobody talking funny. about that. The don't Ozempi. think I don't know, yo. The Ozempi. That Ozempi is making y'all old dookie, okay? <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> yes. People are shitting themselves? That's one of the side effects of an uncontrollable bowel movement. Welcome to my Motherfuckers life. Motherfuckers doing that shit in their fucking bed. <laughs> I'm made out of Ozempi. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Motherfuckers doing that shit shit in they goddamn bed all in the all cuz y'all want to lose weight fast. Yo, did you hear about the story about the dude who was dating this girl, she gets upset. She said because uh, allegedly he was being unfaithful. She tells her brother and another dude that he was hitting her and that they need to go over there and shoot his ass up. Mm. Did you hear about the story? Yeah, I saw. Uh, I saw some of that trial. I don't know if that, if it was NFL. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, he guy, played the, at like FSU or something like that. Yeah, and nah, he, uh, played, he played a little bit. Did he, he play yeah, a little he played, bit? It, it wasn't long in the league, but he played for like two teams in the league. Fair enough. Yeah. So the guys go over, altercation ensues. the The football player dude shoots one. Shoots one. He ends up dying. The girl fabricates the whole thing, and in reality, she was hitting him. And she's upset about him being unfaithful, but the whole time she was married. Mm-hmm. And now apparently she's taking the stand. Oh, that shit was silly. And she's taking the stand against her brother for going over there. No, but you if that's the woman I saw yesterday, oh, she brother. sounded crazy. Bro. I saw a woman yesterday on the stand. She sounded wild. See if you can find that, Taylor. Travis Rudolph is his name. Oh, something wrong. Yo, she sounded nuts. Yo. Like, she was like, I didn't tell him to go shoot the shit up. I said, uh... There's a text exchange. It's a text exchange. Like, it was... The shit was wild. Like, she was like, I didn't say go kill him. I just said go shoot the shit up or some crazy shit she said. Yeah. Tell her what happened to the phone. But that that girl, she should go to prison for life. She's 100%. responsible for that death. 100%. 100%. I have no, I have no disagreement there. Remember when... 
there was that exchange between a girl and a kid who was feeling suicidal and the girl like kind of promoted his suicide. Do you remember that story? I think they even made like a scripted show about this. And it was like, they they found it through the text messages. She was basically kind of coaxing him to kill himself. Do you guys remember that? I don't remember. I think I heard she like that she ended up getting prosecuted for that, right? And she was guilty. So she's responsible for that kid's death, partially. This least. woman is 100% responsible for this. So she got to go to jail for them life? over there. Like she's, I, I don't, did, he didn't really hit her either, did he? Did he? No, she hit him. Oh, yeah, because it's on the ring camera. I saw that. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. So she caused this whole situation she gotta because go of her for somebody life. is for dead. Life, for life, for life, for life. 100% accessory to murder. For life. 100%. 100%. Not only accessory, she was premeditated with it. She planned the murder. Go over there, shoot shit up. That's a self-defense right there. I mean, she, if because, that's because, her man, she got to know he got a gun. Because I think the guys were saying, the guys were saying they didn't they didn't go over there with the intention of shooting nobody up. They just wanted to scare him or something like that, well, they said. Well, that's what happened. I don't know that. I don't know that if you Why come, the fuck you coming to scare word me? Word up. Yeah, this ain't my a prank house. Show, I don't bro. know nothing. No, no. Can no. We, you got the audio, Chris, of that, the girl talking? You were the first person to become physically violent when Travis, with Travis and not the other way around? No. Not at all? Something or show me something if I can't recall the exact steps of the moments. Question. Okay, so you were the first one to become physically violent with Travis, not the other way around. Answer, correct. Yes, that's correct. You remember that? Yes. So you smashed his iPhone, not out of anger, but because you were hurt? Yes. Okay. And I didn't send my brothers to kill him. No, you just sent a text to go shoot up his shit, right? I, I didn't say shoot him. You sent a text to go shoot up his shit, right? Correct. What's, tell the jury what the shit is. When you're angry, you say things. I'm sure everyone in this courtroom has what said something when you're, I'm trying to speak. If you want me to answer your question, you have to let me answer your question. Well, if you were responsive to my question, I wouldn't have to. All right. Answer the question, please. Okay. Can you repeat your question? The question was shit. What does shit mean in the context of that text? Anything but him. Okay. So it could have been his brother? No. It could have been the house? Nothing violent toward a person. Could have been his mother's house, right? I was upset and I my adrenaline was running and I said something that I didn't mean. That's the bottom line of that. I didn't mean for him to do for my brothers to do any of that. That's why when my brother left the house, he did not have a firearm on him. People say things when they're upset that they don't mean all the time. But since the situation has happened, it obviously blew up 20 times more, but I didn't necessarily mean for anything to happen to Travis, his family, his house or anything. It's like my, it was like my second home. I would not want anything to happen there. All right. And he never raised. That's all I see is keep digging your grave. <laughs> keep digging your grave. That's all I saw in that situation. I mean, yeah, she's a bona fide sociopath. Come on. Like bro. she it looks you as if she feels no remorse. It's, it's really cut and dry. You ordered a hit. Yeah. You sent, you lied about being hit, sent some guys over there to handle something for you. Yeah. And a person did what they should do in that situation, which is defend themselves. Yeah. That football player stood his ground. Yeah. He shouldn't Self, go. Nothing should nothing. happen to him at Self all. Self-defense. He's good. She should go to jail. The people who went over there to execute the hit should go to prison, too. He also knows that she's crazy enough to ask her brothers to go over there and kill him. Like, he knows he's dealing with a crazy woman. You know what I mean? Like, if you're dating a girl for a while, you know if they're crazy or not. Like It's not like she went crazy that day. You're aware that this person is out of her fucking mind. Mm -hmm. So when the brothers come over and she's already threatened that they're going to do some wild shit, you might have to get strapped up. Mm -hmm. It's me or them. You know what? I agree with uh, what Schultz said. And what's also crazy about this situation is that I forgot what the fuck I was going to say. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. But man. I agree with everything that you fucking said. That's and, okay, And I man. think she's absolutely 100% in the motherfucking wrong. That's okay, And I hope man. this point what comes would, back what to What would the charge was necessarily be, though? She ordered a hit. But. They didn't shoot oh, the guy. You know, so technically, but he's defending himself. You're you're admitting that you sent somebody over there to do violent harm yeah. to this person. You said they're gonna shoot, go shoot his shit up. 
You can't use that excuse like, I didn't say not to shoot him. What is the charge? I believe yeah, it's- What would be the charge? I believe it's lynching. It's when a mob is going to attack a person. Uh, so it's a premeditated mob attack. I believe that that's the, the, the specific term is. So maybe it's like you have a premeditated uh, attack and assault on somebody. Yeah. And that you are part of that organization. Is she going to get manslaughter? No. But I would hold her responsible for the reaction to that premeditated attack as well. And you know what? My point just came back. Imagine we, we under, we're listening to her. And, and she sounds somewhat reasonable to us because we understand a lot of slang and everything else, even though she sounds batshit crazy. Yeah. Imagine to people just sitting there that don't know any of that. Shoot shit up. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> like, like, you can't use this. Yeah. I didn't say don't, don't shoot him. The, the lawyer was right when she said, what is what, shit, dude? What is shit, yeah. What is shit? Yeah. What, Taylor? Talk into the mic, please. I feel like, yes, you're right. She should be going to jail. But. Oh, boy. But. <laughs> it's also telling niggas, like, stop playing with girls' emotions. It says for infidelity. Stop, like, just break up You know that she head. was married the whole time? Oh, okay. <laughs> just push the mic away from you. Same way, same way you pulled it in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the same way you slowly pulled it in, just slowly push it away. Okay. Okay? All right. All right. Uh, what else we got? What else we got, Taylor Gang? Oh. You know what's crazy about this story? This is why we can't take women seriously. No, don't change it today. What? This is why we can't take you, you seriously. You did, you did, because I, I, I. Not you, but Schultz that girl. That, that girl is like, you, go, go, oh, go, 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 go. Schultz said that detail prior, but I've been, I'm on record saying this a million times. I, it's funny, somebody, I saw somebody say, uh, Charlemagne always says a million times when he just wants to bring in a new point. No, I'm saying a million times because <laughs> I actually said a million times. But the million thing, time, thing that I was going to say is this is why I believe all women was a nonsense statement for yeah, the beginning. Yeah, this is what happens when you believe all women. You shouldn't believe all of anybody. You get shot and killed. You should, you, should, you should listen to all women and believe all proof. If we believed all women, we'd be dead. If you believed all women, you, we'd be dead No, 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 no. We'd all be dead. We'd all be dead. Take the mic. I want you to answer this question. We'd be dead. Everybody be dead. Okay, listen, listen. Listen, listen. All right, listen. If we believe all women, you know you got to believe all those Karens that you be seeing on on Instagram all the time, making up shit. You got to believe- Ursula. You got to believe the woman who got Emmett Till killed. You got to believe her. You got to believe the woman who said the Central Fire Rape. You got to believe, if you say believe all women- We'd be dead. I never understood why that statement took off the way that it did. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't believe all of anybody. I didn't say any of believe, that <laughs> believe mean? the truth or what's funniest. Listen, to, <laughs> listen. Believe the truth or what's funniest. I believe the truth, and I believe Dr. Umar Johnson. Those are the two things that I believe. Do, by the way, he's the truth. What you're saying right now? Talk that shit. Slaps. Talk that shit. Though. I'm gonna tell you why that shit Talk slaps. Because the truth is the truth sounds like the truth when you hear it. But but boy, when you put some jokes around a good lie. Ooh. That shit sound like the truth too. Woo! So you either gotta be Woo! funny or honest. That's a. And if you're funny and honest, that's it. You out of here. You got a See podcast. You, <laughs> you got a fucking podcast. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Salute to all women, though. I just, you know, I just want to say, listen to all women. Uh, rest in peace, Tina Turner. Yeah. Oh yeah. Coldest story ever, man. Tina Turner's husband donated an organ to save her because he didn't want another woman. Tina Turner's husband donated his kidney to save her life in 2016. The singer was diagnosed with intestinal cancer, a stroke, and her kidneys were functioning at only 20%. Turner had to make the difficult decision to choose between dialysis or a kidney transplant, but her second husband, German music exec Erwin Box, stepped in and made a life-changing decision. Round of applause to that human. Round of applause to that man, goddammit. Kept Tina Turner alive probably another, what, Five, how long was that? Two, seven years? Eight years? Wow. Seven years? Wow. Yeah, man. Yeah. Would you give a kidney for your wife? Of course. 100%. No course. questions asked. None whatsoever. I'm going to need something in exchange. <laughs> she, she done gave you everything. That's why you gave her the kidney. Well, we give each other everything. Yeah. But if I'm giving you a kidney, I'm going to need a little something. Like what? Yeah, you know, T TBD. TBD. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna need just a little something. I'm gonna need a little something. T you know what I mean? D. I'm gonna need a little something. What would you get for a kidney? 
Nothing for my wife. Yeah, she can have it. Like she, she's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's not the funny way of looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember? Remember what we do here every week? She's, I mean, listen, man. She's done everything for me, man. Oh, I'll say, like, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> my kidney, baby, please. I, yo, honestly, 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 <laughs> I'll be that. like, yo, you know, honestly, I'll be like, yo, I've been wanting to give you this. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. I've been wanting, to give, give you, I've been wanting to give you a piece of me for so long. I feel like, you know, I've been giving you a piece of me figuratively, but here, take this kidney, boo. Take it, baby. God damn, bro. Yo, can I tell you something? Men are liars, too. Yo, men lie. Men, men are liars, liars, too. Men lie. Women lie. Because men are liars, liars too. too. Like to catch I another flight. flight. <laughs> Apple Apple bottom, make you want to bite. bite. I'm going to give you a kidney tonight. I'm going to give you a kidney tonight. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> no, um, you need a little get out of jail free card. You need something. That'd be that'd be bad if y'all ever broke up. You got that stuff like that. That's why you got to make sure you do that when you're like old, and y'all know y'all got not going nowhere. Cause imagine you give a person a kidney and they she cheat take that on and cheat on your ass. Woo! Mm-hmm. Nope. A Selena. What you mean having to Selena? Her friend didn't her friend give her Selena her who kid, Selena Gomez. And then what happened? And now after? her friend isn't. They're not friends no more for some reason. Oh no! Got I want to my look kidney back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me yeah, get that yeah, kidney yeah, back. Run that back, yeah, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you mean we're not friends no more? Run that back, yo. What you mean we're not friends no more? That's crazy. <sighs> Meek Mill goes after DJ Drama. So Meek got to learn how to spell, bro, or write. <laughs> I was going through these tweets. This was the most difficult thing to read. <laughs> just go through each one of these, bro. It is painful. Let's just read the first one. No, go to the go other. Back. Oh, no, 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 no. This, 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 no, no, this is the good one okay, right go, here. Go, 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 go. back. Go, click, 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 go, click. Yeah. DJ Drama, DJ Drama, goofy over these hoes. Laugh out loud. He won't speak good on me. I tore him up in the A. <laughs> Where's the... Oh, I didn't even see that extra A right there. All right, so that's, that's just no punctuation at all, no periods, no commas, nothing. The top one is, if they ask me about DJ Yo, Drama... Yo, I tore him up in the A? I tore him up in the A, bro. Prima. If I... <laughs> <laughs> listen, if they ask me about DJ Drama and Khaled, I wouldn't speak, and I made millions on paper with Khaled. I'll still stay silent. I'm from Philly, and we don't wear outfitted hats like that drama shop at Mitchell and... What? What is... I think, I think me got equity at Mitchell and that's or something. I mean, I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what I just heard. Mitchell and Ness is a hat. No, no. What did he say? (laughs) He said, if they ask me about drama and Khaled, meaning who's better, drama or Khaled, he's saying he wouldn't speak on it because even though he made millions on paper with Khaled, he'd stay silent because he's from Philly. Drama's from Philly also. So he's saying his loyalty would lie with Philly. And then he's saying, drama, we don't wear our fitted hats like that because of the way drama had his fitted hat on in the interview that he did. Did you get that? No, I didn't, but that was Holy a great translation. Shit. I don't know how you got that all that from incredible. that. That was incredible. He's been in Philly enough. He understands. Oh, Alex, Alex don't hang around enough black people anymore. So Yo, you know. Yo, ain't that fucked up? You knew he was going to go there. You knew he was going to go there. No, you hang out with country motherfuckers yeah, exactly. don't have a spell. So you understand what that is right there. Um, that this, man never did real charity in Philly in his life. I got that sentence. Yes. I just be saying bits, parts online because it be too much to say. I be wanting it to be known when I own rock with these goofies and I stand on my tippy toes when I see them so it's no confusion before we even interact. Drama queen over these females. Let I got down. that one. Uh, you got that? No, I'm gonna take the I only thing that, that confused me. He in does this, ballet? I, I don't know. What was it? Yeah. <laughs> Tippy toes confused me in this. Yeah. Meek is tall as shit. I don't know if you've ever been around me. He's tall. Meek's like 6'2, I think. Maybe 6'3. Yeah. Maybe Why does Meek gotta stand on Tippy toes? <laughs> like, Taylor, can you translate this? <laughs> That's easy. Yeah, yeah, she from Philly. Philly. Drama never Philly. did no charity in Philly. Meek just be saying a little bit of stuff. He, he could just, say more, but he only says a little bit online because it's too much to say. He be wanting it to be known he don't fuck with these goofies. Exactly. I He's don't saying, understand the stand on my tippy toes. He's saying when I, I stand on my tippy toes. That's like I stand, I stand ten toes down. Like that is not what tippy toes means. Tippy toes really are just that's one a, or two toes. It's like yeah. if you're no. He, 
When he's saying, and I stand on my tippy toes when I see them, so it's so confusing. Bro, I just want to see him beefing on his tippy toes. Right. I want to see two dudes like on their tippy toes like he's talking standing shit. His ground. If I ever walked in the room and saw Meek standing on his tippy toes, that shit would be so funny. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> beefing with somebody and be like, man, fuck you then, bro. <laughs> like, why? You already 6'3. Like, unless you beefing with another, if you beefing with an NBA player that's 6'7, six, 6'8, six, there's no way for you to be on your tippy toes. Oh, man, that's all he's saying. All right, next one, next one. This is fun. Boom! Okay. Yes, you next need one. somebody from Philly Tell to translate right, this you shit. You just figured this out. It no, took you 10, 20 not, seconds. It's go, clear. go. Next one. Next one. This is fun. Wait, That's hold fun. on. There got to be another one. Is that all the tweets? Yeah. I mean, you guys get the first one. Ain't gonna lie, drama. You look goofy as hell in this interview. It's really why he mad. Now they're mad at drama. This is what I don't understand. Somebody smashed someone's girl. I have no go idea. Go back to the first one. I'll go back to the but first one. But look at one. the question. Look what started all of this. Go, go. Wait, I asked drama. Hold on, go he, back, go okay. back, go back, go the back. The first one is I asked drama why he always speaking down on me with a few other words too. Told him he's a goofy. I also hit him when he tried to compare dreams and nightmare to I want to rock and downplay me. Don't let these industry lames use you. They don't really even like you. Shaking my head, LOL. Drama says shit ain't got nothing to do with no blank. I don't know what that is. To be honest, I don't even speak on all the real sucker shit you be doing. That's the crazy part. You just did it to me again for the Tiny Dick Podcast. Desk. Oh, Tiny Desk <laughs> Podcast. Right, my whole rollout fucked up my fucked my whole rollout up and wasn't even man enough to just tell me no. Okay, yeah. go to the clip that got all of this started. He needs punctuation. Cause this, I didn't oh, know where this God. started. Like, Look at this comma. question. Who is the Jay-Z of the current generation, Meek Mill or Drake? Press play, Taylor. Oh, my God. Oh, the video has no sound. Here's the thing. Drama answered a question very well, but I got thoughts about the question. Okay. When was this ever a conversation? There's never a conversation. I've There's never heard this in not my even life. close. They're not in the same stratosphere. <laughs> Salute to Meek. I respect Meek. I got nothing but love for Meek. I like everything that he's built coming from the city of Philly. I fuck with Meek. But I've never heard Meek Mill being compared to Jay-Z. I think that was just the interviewer trying to have a moment because he knows that drama and me kind of had a little tension. Mm. And so how do I get He told Meek, drama he's smoking dope. How do I get Meek, drama, <laughs> and Drake all in the same conversation while speaking to Just ask him about oh, the situation. Oh, because drama has the connectivity because he leaked the you reference tracks or something? Let's listen. Allegedly. I, can't, I cannot believe drama answered that question. Just hit the sound icon, Taylor. Down, I mean, bottom corner. Like, explain, yeah, I'm, explain I'm curious. That. No, you explain. So, Drake came out in what, 08? It's 2023. Like, he changed the sound of hip hop. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He's he's literally ran every summer. Did Jay Z change the, the the sound of hip hop? Absolutely. Well, he kind of like paid homage to a lot of pieces of hip hop. Everyone I mean, wanted to be like Hov. Everybody tried to sound like Hov. I mean, Hov. He said it so We paid homage to a the bunch only, of the pieces only, of hip hop. The only reason why you I could like the only comparison that f for me for you to say Meek is that like Meek. Here's like, the thing. We press pause. Yeah, <laughs> You can put a DR before my name, and it don't have to be doctor. It can be Dick Ryder. There's only one Jay-Z. <laughs> Proud mom. Sh Sean Carter is a one-on-one, -on -one, okay? And just like Jordan, there's a lot of people you might compare to him for a lot of different reasons, but there really is no comparison when you go back and you really look at what this man accomplished in hip-hop, but not just accomplished in hip-hop, being one of the nicest ever to touch a microphone. Mm. There's no rapper that's probably more quotable than Jay-Z. And, and if I'm being totally objectively honest, the person I saw quoted as much as Jay-Z ha has been Drake. For, th for that generation, like, Drake always had a caption. Motherfuckers using his shit for captions and quotes and all of that. So mm. as much as we quote Jay-Z, I did see a generation quote Drake like that. But I'm still not comparing Drake to Jay-Z in no way, shape, or form. Mm. And it's a lot of different reasons that I'm not comparing Drake to Jay. I don't think Drake is as, as nice as Jay as a rapper. I think Drake is dope, but I don't think he's as nice as Jay. And I still think, you know, when we having these conversations about the ghostwriting, 
Jay-Z was S. Doc Carter, Ghost Rider, for the right price. He made your shit tighter. He didn't have Ghost Riders. You know what I'm saying? Drake actually used Ghost Riders. That's still a, that's still a knock against him in a lot of ways, even though I think it's dope when, if you're a hip-hop artist, you look to get the best song. I don't know about writing your whole verses and all of that, but another thing I put, uh, I, give, I give Jay over Drake is think about all the artists Jay has introduced. Now, Drake has introduced artists in other ways, meaning he'll get on a feature and make their shit hot, and then you'll start paying attention to them in a different way. But Jay actually gave us other superstars. Like who? He gave us the Jake Holes and the Kanye's and the Rihanna's and, you know, the whole Rockefeller regime back in the day. Of course, he wasn't the only executive. You know, you, of course, you got to give Dame and Biggs and all of them their credit. But, you know, Jay has introduced us to countless amounts of legendary superstars. That he profits on. Yeah. Drake is putting people on that he doesn't profit on. You know Drake's getting, you know Drake's not getting money for those features? Of course he is. No, he's not getting money for their stardom. I don't but what's, think, but what's wrong with profiting off of them, though? I'm the, saying all I'm saying is Jay discovered better. Ta- Jay has discovered talent. Drake hasn't done that yet. No, mm. no, no. I think I think Drake has put way more artists on than Jay Z. Way more. No, I don't even know. Way what you're more. About. Now you sound like uh, this question. I, I'm just saying, in terms of not only artists, but like the 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 the, move, the, the, tr- the, the trends in music, Drake has been on top of for the last fucking decade. You know who did that? You know who started that blueprint? Who? Jay-Z. Is because, that right? Because back in the day, Jay-Z would jump on who's ever was the hot person. So Juvenile High Remix. Okay. Uh, the Oakland Sound, you know. Well, what's my favorite word? When he did that shit, uh, when he did the shit about uh, over two show blow your whistle. He had a couple of Houston records like that. He would do guest appearances, whether it was Rick Ross hustling, whether it was you know Jeezy, uh, Dope Boys Go Crazy. That blueprint that Drake does, which is smart. Let me. Let You're me saying go. that Jay Z established that. A hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. hundred. And by the way, it's a smart strategy. No, it's brilliant. Why not? It's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. I, I guess. I've always saw Jay Z as as coming from more of like a business perspective in terms of curating talent and then playing a part in either the management or the label side of that talent. Whereas I've seen Drake put people on that he's not signing simply because he believes that that's the direction where music is going to go and he wants to shine a light on that. But isn't signing them a bigger investment? Like if I'm Jay Z and I decide to not just feature on a J. Cole. I'm going to sign him and invest in him because I know this guy is one of those next ones. Instead of just signing, you know, I mean, featuring on a Kanye West song, we're going to sign this guy to our label. No, because I think there's self-interest there. It's like, I I look at what Drake does more like what like like Rogan does, where it's just like, oh, wow, this person is really talented and I want to give them the exposure that they deserve. And But if Rogan had a podcast network, but he, the fact he, he but, maneuvered differently. Sure, but the fact that he that he could have a podcast whenever he wants. But to me, it's, it's altruistic. It's like, wow, I think there's greatness here, and I want to shine a light on that greatness. And Jay, I, Jay has done both. I, yeah, you guys are explaining yes, that to me now, Jay, so I'm Jay seeing that. Uh, but I do think that we can't diminish Drake's contributions in those ways. Here's my thing. I like like shining lights on artists that people had no clue who they were, I, and giving them massive opportunities. Like massive, massive but opportunities. What's, what's a greater? Okay, put it like this. I, I, I'm not knocking what you said, but what's greater? Little, how many people's? First, sorry to cut you. How many people's first platinum record has a Drake feature on it? Sure. Let, and then how many people's first platinum record has a Jay Z feature? I'm not trying to knock Jay Z. A bunch what, of them. What I'm, and I believe they do. I guess yeah. what I'm saying is like, what if we line those up in all the different genres of music? We could really tell from that point right there who has put on more people. Well, let's just look at. Your first gold or platinum record with a feature. I, I would I would think Jay Z trumps that by far. I, I because, don't know, because, dude. Because, no, I'm gonna tell you why. Because not only does Jay Z do did, did the features on hit records, he wrote he wrote a lot of hit records, and he signed a lot of these hit artists. What's more important for Drake? What would what's more have been more impactful if he just had a Lil Wayne feature or Lil Wayne actually signing him to Young Money? What's more impactful for Drake's what, what, career? What's been more impactful for his career? Do you think just him having a little Wayne feature or Wayne actually signing him to Young Money? I think that the exposure is more important. There's no question that having the cosign from not only Wayne but also Jay Prince and having that 
background and support has helped him. There's no question. 100%. But I do believe that he was so and is so talented that the exposure of a Wayne feature, the exposure of a Jay-Z feature, the exposure of a Kanye feature, anybody shining light on that level of talent was gonna take him over the top. I agree, but, but having that one off is different than having somebody behind you no, constantly, no, no every day pushing. I'm not, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that it's either or. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is some people are so talented that all they need is the first look. And then after getting that first look, people start going, what the fuck is going on oh, over no, here? I agree, but then you can fall off too. Cause mm -hmm. I can I can be McConan, God bless. Okay. 100%, you know what I mean? 100%. I, I drink, give you a hot record. That's 100%. And then there's no follow up. And that's up. really on you. Yes. And the people that you know Drake gave a hot record to, I mean, look at like Migos. You know, like that, what is it, Versace? Mm -hmm. That Versace one was crazy. And then Migos go, you know what? We're also superstars and we're gonna continue to take this opportunity and become the biggest rap group of our generation. You're not wrong, but I think people also forget Migos already had a, they were bubbling before. That's why Drake got on the record. Even, even with the little babies, I think sometimes, and it's not to nobody's fault, but sometimes when you aren't paying attention to like what's happening in the street in that Bro, moment. You know me. I've always said I'm the biggest outsider in music, whatever. I don't I don't know anything. All I'm looking, I'm looking as the most casual. You guys already yeah, yeah, know yeah. that Migos is popping. You guys already know what's happening there in Atlanta. Like, and you already know how they have maybe a, a cultural yeah, strength. Drake's in the club and that. he hit that Versace. He like, oh, I gotta get on yeah. this. 100 percent Yeah. But so, and that does benefit him as well. hundred percent It does benefit him as well. Him bringing Bringing up all these young artists, I can imagine uh, they have the same appreciation and gratitude to Drake as a lot of us comics have for, well, de de I definitely have for you, but also for, for Rogan, right? Where it's just like, wow, these people like put me in a position for other people to see me, so I'm gonna have that eternal gratitude. And that's really helpful when you're coming up. Now, instead of beefing with these guys who are your competition, those guys are going, yo, Drake's the man, let's go on tour, let's yeah, do yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's a great strategic move, and I'm sure, as you guys were explaining, Jay-Z had also done this. I just- I wonder if there's a thought process to that. I wonder if it's like, I'm gonna give this person a feature. Mm -hmm. Cause I know if I shine the light on him, he'll go. He'll, he's out of here. But he's this person I really wanna be invested in. This person I wanna be Maybe. part of their career going forward. Bro, but you know what it also could be too is like some people don't, I don't know, but like some people, I don't have, I have more joy in like putting people on, giving them opportunities and like helping them without making money off them type of thing, right? Like I don't want to own anybody. Mm -hmm. um, also, I'm not as excited in like the curation and building of somebody else. I like being helpful, but I don't want that to be my job. You know what I mean? I like, like both. I, I know you, you're, I like you're different. You really like doing that kind of stuff where it's like, for me, I want to help you and I want to brainstorm with you. I want whatever, but I don't want to feel like it's on me to make your career. I want to give you the opportunity where you can make your career, give you the platforms. I want to shine the light. I want to help you with everything I can do. But it's already hard enough to build the things that we're doing right here. And you got to shoot a lot of shots because there's going to be a lot of misses. I'm not going to sit here and act like, of course, Jay's had a lot of misses. You know what I mean? Mm. But when those shots go in, you get a Rihanna. You get a Kanye. Oh, huge. You get a J. Cole. You know huge. what I mean? They yeah. even, you know, say what you want. The Memphis Bleaks, the Beanie Seagulls, the State Properties, all of that. Like, you know what I mean? Of course, you can't just give Jay credit for that because that's Dame and that's Biggs and all of them when they were Rockefeller. But, man, a lot of these artists, yo, like, you're when you're responsible for one legend, when you're responsible for one other legend, you're in a different league. When you're responsible for, like, two or three... Come on, man. That's why I give Wayne. I, just, I give Wayne a lot of props. Wayne gave us Drake and Nicki. Yo, Wayne, one hundred percent, no question. Kanye too. I yeah. Kanye gave us John Legend. You know, uh, what, Big Sean, Kid Cudi. What genres of music? Not only just hip hop, but what genres of music do you think that Drake has played a part uh, in? I don't want to say the word exposing because they're already popular artists and they're already popular genres, but shining a light so they can become mainstream accepted in our lifetime. I don't think it's a I don't think it's a genre he's shown us that we haven't seen. Uh, no it, again that's that's it's not about we haven't seen and you guys are so inside. I'm talking about the casual like me, right? So like Drake really shining a light on like what was happening in the UK rap scene. Mm. 
right? Like to me, I'm like, oh wow, he was really on that. Not only in terms of like music, but also like culture, like the top boy stuff. Like he's go, okay, there's something bubbling mm -hmm. over here. Obviously down south, him collabing with a few of the artists down south. And then also the Afro beats or whatever it is, mm -hmm. which is already a huge, massive genre of music but bringing that over to like a mainstream Western audience, like where white people are listening to fucking, what's the, what's the guys at Last Last? Burner Boy. Burner Boy. Boy. You know what I mean? Like, what, what, Drake, what Afrobeat song was Drake on? I don't remember. He had a few Afrobeat style songs Tem's on a, like um, Scorpion. Is Tems an Afrobeat dude? Yeah. Tem, yeah. That's a woman. Tems, what? That's a woman. We don't know how they identify. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Nah, but salute the dream. Yeah. Listen, salute them. But but the, the convers put it like this: the conversation we're having, mm -hmm. I, I can I can have that conversation with Drake and Jay Z. Yeah, we're not having that with. I've never had that with me because all I'm saying, that's never been a thing. And, I, and, I haven't. And heard the it. tricky thing is like I'm sure that's. that's but clearly it is because yeah. he brought it up. But I never heard but it. But I think the tricky thing is I'm sure that's probably like insulting for a meek. But it's like it's. It's not to say that there aren't people that Meek has outperformed. He's outperformed 99.9% .9 of everybody who's ever tried to rap. You're talking about what he's done in his career is better than 99.9% .9 of anybody in history who's tried to rap. Think about that. Because he's had success? Because of the level yeah, of success. Yeah, people like, don't, people don't realize how hard it is, it's how it's hard it is to be so a rapper. It's so fucking yeah, hard yeah, to yeah, build no, a no, career no, as a rapper. No, right. And, and I think it's, when you only look at what's above you, it's very easy to be like uh, super competitive and almost. Hmm. There's a lot of people who've tried rapping. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what I mean? But I, I guess, I mean like whatever, like even having a song like Dreams and Nightmares. That's like how I'm many saying. people have, have a cultural moment like Forever. that? Forever. Yeah. Forever. This song ain't going nowhere your greatest, for a decade. Your greatest enemy hears that song and gets hyped. And think about it. You're that. absolutely right. Like, and, and also too with drama, and, and this is what I well, I guess what I'm sitting there trying to say. You can't be mad, Meek, at drama's comments. He's not talking down to you. You're just being compared to the greatest of all time. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, 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 you, you gotta like, be mad at the interviewer for asking, asking that, that question. question. Like, like why that, put you up against Drake? Yes. Like, yeah. And, and why put you up against Hove? Yeah. Forget the Drake. Yeah. He asked, who is the Jay-Z of this generation? Oh, yeah. Meek or Drake? Yeah. You got compared to the greatest of all time. Uh, 99 was the number you gave? 99.9%. 99.9% 9 of people are going to answer that question like drama did. Yes. Like. And that's not to say that you haven't had immense success. That's right. And that's the tricky thing. And that's, that's right. where it's on that's where it's on him that's to right. just kind of look back and be like, okay, okay, I'm being compared right now. What an honor. What an that's honor right. That's yeah, right. to that's be right. compared that's to the right. greatest ever. Right. Even if someone's saying, nah, it's not like that, the fact that my name is being mentioned, you know what? I've done something that's fucking right. all right here. And the other percentage of that people, of that 99.9, .9, all from Baltimore and Philly. <laughs> Bal from Baltimore, <laughs> what's up? It's Baltimore, it's Maryland and Philly, right? Well, Baltimore's in Maryland. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck did I say? Baltimore is in Maryland. Okay, so it's Maryland, Philly. Uh, Baltimore South. All I know is people from that area on the map probably believe that, probably believe that about Meek. Oh, yeah, because he's probably the guy. Absolutely. Yo, there's people in the South listening to how we're speaking about Jay-Z, and they're going, mm. Nah, exactly, 100%. Yeah, we were Absolutely. affected by him in the same way. Absolutely. Now, we think they're crazy. They Absolutely. are crazy. But, but <laughs> they weren't affected. Like, yo, there's probably people who go, there's probably people who are like, nobody has impacted music more than future over the last 15 years. And you can They're make an argument about that. They're not wrong. And especially music and culture, you're growing up in Atlanta, I've you're growing up that. in parts of the South, I love, and you're seeing his effect on music. My favorite is Kendrick, but that's just my personal favorite. All right. Salute to Cole. But if you're talking about people who've had the most influence over the last 10 to 12 years, on sound. I, it's, it's, it's between Drake and Future, and I'm probably going to give Future the edge. I, I, don't, I, can't, I can't do that. But then again, I'm not growing up in Atlanta. Why would you say that? Why would you? I just haven't seen anybody have more influence. Okay, 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 okay. This influence. Is, no, this is good going back to, wait a minute, wait. This Drake's actually, had more impact. Yeah. No, this is actually good. This is going back to our basketball thing. Steph has had more influence on how the game is played. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean Steph 
is a better basketball player, and I don't want to get lost in the woods here, than uh, Michael Jordan. But No, but or, he is better than LeBron. But okay, I, that's why I knew I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, <laughs> so let, let's just—it's it's fine. It's fine. I don't give a fuck. What? Who cares? So, but but in terms of the way that Steph plays the game, he has influenced more people to play the game like 100%, 100%. him. Hundred percent. That doesn't mean that he is better. Whereas a guy like Future might have influenced music more. The actual sound of music in the last fifteen years more than Jay Z has influenced it in the last fifteen years. Oh, that's, but that's, yeah, no doubt. But that's, I mean, yeah, but Jay-Z but, had his time. But he had his time where he yeah. was influenced. But that doesn't mean that he's better than Jay-Z, but no. his musical impact in terms of the way that people are rapping because he rapped that way and him having a unique style of rapping has, been, has had more influence on the overall genre of hip hop. Yes, Future had that's guys a, in Brooklyn trying to rap like him. That's an argument to like, be made. Straight, like, like, think about that. that I, I didn't see that prior to future. I didn't see rappers from places like New York trying to sound like an artist from the South. Yeah. Now, I remember when ASAP, you know, them came out and they had like sovereign influence in their music, but I'm talking about sounding. Yeah. Like designer sounded like yep. future. Rappers in the UK sounded yep. like future, like literally. So yes, I, I think Future's influence. People, even when they were having that whole Mount Rushmore debate, and it was Kendrick, Cole, and Drake, and who's the fourth? I'm like, it's Future, and it's not even close. Yeah. I yeah, and, and again, this is where we get into influence versus like greatness. Yeah, this is just where we get into influence versus greatness. Like we spoke about AI. AI. AI might be the perfect example. Artificial intelligence or actual Alan Iverson. <laughs> Both, no. Okay. Uh, but Allen Iverson might be the perfect example. He doesn't have any championships, no. right? Steph has championships. He doesn't have any championships, Boy. but he influenced the game more than anybody in his era. So future- On and off the court. Future might be AI. Everybody wants to be him. Everybody wants to look like him. They want the riz like him. They want the swag like him. He might not have- he got the, the best memes. The, There's no rapper. <laughs> he made me want to eat cheesecake. But, <laughs> There's no rapper who got better memes than Future. You know how many lactose intolerant people are like, I got to try this cheesecake. What's the first. cheesecake one? I Didn't he have one, one where he's like, uh, something like that? Yeah, it was sensational. How was the cheesecake? Is that... Oh, yeah, when he's like, sensational. And then yeah, he before laughs, that, right? I didn't know what he's the question talking about was cheesecake, before. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. I, remember, I just like when he's looking in the mirror. That's the oh, funniest yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. been memed so many times. But Now, he might not have an album that is 10 times fucking platinum or something. He like, does, though. Yeah. Which, which one? Oh, but, yo, Future's like the number. Look up the stat. He's okay, got, he, okay. He's got fair. more. He's got like, there's only like six rappers who got more number one albums than him. And it's like Jay, Kanye, Eminem. Uh, What's the fucking album? Dirty Sprite? Dirty Sprite 2. Dirty Sprite 2, yeah. Yeah, but you got that three-headed monster, bro. The fucking mixtapes. Uh, this Google, uh, who, rappers with most number one albums. It's all time. Yeah. Rappers with most, put, put rappers with most number what's one that, albums. What's that, what's the song? The, what, is it, March Madness? Dirty Soda and Stop? Classic. Huh? March Madness. March hey, Madness. Hey, click that first one. Rappers with most number, rappers with most number one albums. Okay, here you go. Right there, right there, right there. Go Artists down, with the most down. number one albums. Drake, 13. Kanye West, 10. No, go to the full list. Go get the full list. Hold Tupac, on. 8. Oh, Jay-Z, click, click, click 7. Out of that. Click out of that Taylor game. Uh, scroll down, scroll down. No, you didn't. Did you click one more? Did you click one more row? And it goes to... Because it's on Wikipedia. Oh, there you go. Yeah, click that one. Who knew? Number one albums. All I know is Future's on that goddamn list. Future got like eight number ones or something crazy like that. I got it on ChatGPT if you want. What? <laughs> what is it? Uh, Jay Z is uh, number one number with fourteen. One. Then yeah. Eminem with number uh, is number two with ten. Then Drake with nine, Kanye is four with number uh, with nine. Future's five. Nas has five. Lil Wayne is number six, and Future's number seven with five number one albums. Oh no, that's old. That's old. 
Future's one, two, three, four, five. Because right there, right there. Future's number five now. Look, look, look. Scroll down. And he got eight number one. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got eight number one albums on Billboard. Like, there's not a metric that you can use to not put Future in the conversation, yo. Yeah, yeah. Music, he, album sales, influence, cultural no, impact. you're right. You're right. He got more right. number ones than J. Cole. I take it back. I take it back. So he's Steph. He's not AI, he's Steph, because he got the championships, too. That's all I'm saying. Uh, let's pay some bills, come back and do um, some Ask an Idiot. He got more than Wayne. Future is a GOAT. Stop playing with Future. Stop playing with him. Okay, let's take a quick break before we get into Ask an Idiot. Squarespace, today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything, your products, content you create, and even your time. Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand. With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue screen for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, or newsletters. Create pro-level videos effortlessly. The Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. Stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns. Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo. Built-in analytics measure the impact of every sin. Use those analytics and insights to grow your business. Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are most effective. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords or most popular products and content. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use off the code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with off the code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Let's get back to the show. All right, it's time for some asking idiots. Ooh, who is Chris Thomas? This is a good question. Does the responsibility of your fame and success ever feel like it's not worth it, even at brief moments? Mm. No. <laughs> no, it's awesome. There are things that we complain about. There's things that we have to go through that maybe other people don't, but it, it is, there's, it's easy for people who have success and fame to complain because we're human beings and we're, we're, we complain. That's just what we do. But this shit is so awesome and we should be so grateful every single day. Every single fucking day. Yeah, cool. I mean, I, listen, man, I used to sell crack. I've worked <laughs> at Taco Bell. So, you know, as my therapist always tells me, you cannot have... This is your dreams and nightmares. Your success. I used to sell crack like this. For real. Gordita crunches like that. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> the therapist always says you can't have your problems without having your success. Yes. They are literally, mutually combined. Yes. You know what I mean? Like you're going to have problems, you're going to have success, but you just gotta what what outweighs the other. Like that's why I was saying last week about somebody like LeBron, like does it seem like he's getting a lot of unfair criticism? Sure. But when you take a step back and you look at him mm. and you say for the person he is, what he's accomplished, what he's done, the position he's in, you're supposed to get that level of criticism. Mm. That's just the way shit is. So does the responsibility of your fame and success ever feel like it's not worth it? It, ne it, it never feels like it's not worth it. Does it get exhausting and draining sometimes? Sure but it never feels like it's not worth it. Mm. That's what I would say. Well done. Oh, come on now, you see? Yo, Faina D, D uh, I don't even believe that's your name. I just think you want me to say something crazy. <laughs> Faina D. Nong. What you gonna do now, Faina D. Nong? <laughs> Faina D. Nong wants to know how Charlotte gets such a fat ass. Talk to mm -hmm. him. Talk to mm -hmm. him. <laughs> Talk to him now. Talk to him now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just letting the priest know. Come on, son. <laughs> Come on, son. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a little scratching. <laughs> Damn, bro. Mm. Bro, you're thick, bro. And I got baggy pants on right now. You are thick. Just letting the screech know what it is. Mm. 
<laughs> I don't even know how to answer your question, man. Because, you know, how do you just tell somebody God blessed you <laughs> but didn't bless everybody else? That's, That's kind of, that'd be arrogant, right? That, no, nah, honestly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wish I had my sunglasses on for when I was staring at your ass, bro. I can't even say no. <laughs> I can't just be like, yo, Charla, how do I get Word. it fast? There's no secret to this. God, God just gave. Did. God yeah. did. God did. God gave me something yeah. he ain't getting nobody else. He you know really what I mean? Did, God was bro. up in heaven making snowmen. Bro, you are thick. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. It's crazy how thick you are. Taylor all jealous. Jealous as fuck. Nah. God, you such a jealous motherfucker. You Taylor. are jealous. It's disgusting. Can Yo, I not everybody though? could be no. built With your like ass, Charlotte, though, bro. I feel like you got to do more squats because it's looking a little flat. Like, hate you don't have that hate. little... I just hear hate. It's not hate. I'm, no, I'm trying to give hate. you... I'm trying to help you out. I know you you're out. trying to give yap, yap, yap. <laughs> Charlotte <laughs> built like a Levain cookie. You don't need to give him no advice for nothing. Okay? Look how thick that is. Let's man talk about is. double standards. <laughs> if I said anything to Taylor about working out, oh, she'd Taylor be real would be mad. Yeah, she probably insult me. Motherfucker. <laughs> 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 I'm going to shoot your man. You say something, I'm going to shoot your fucking man. All right? I'm going to shoot your fuck. Say something, I'm going to shoot your man. All right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Did y'all watch Sarah Silverman's special? Sarah got a special? I, I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, she answered that one. Yeah. What's it on? Um, I don't know. Uh, we have not watched it yet. Yeah, we haven't watched it yet. I would. I like good. I like good, good stand-up special. I thought I was the only person who enjoys watching people bomb until I spoke to Dion Cole. <laughs> Dion Cole said he goes on stage and tells an unfunny joke on purpose. Because he yeah. says not funny is funny. <laughs> and he's absolutely fucking right. I thought it was just me. He said he's going to use some of my jokes. Huh? He said he's going to use some of my dad jokes. He didn't say that to you, Taylor. Yeah. No, he didn't. Why are you going to tell a lie like that? Not funny is funny, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not funny to comedians. No, no, no it, we, it en is? we enjoy watching oh, okay, it. Okay, 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 okay. Other people, we don't want it to happen to us, but yeah, we enjoy exactly. watching but it But that's why people. I think comedians don't yeah. like to see it happen to other people because they know that could be you. Yeah. Maybe at any moment. You never know. Yeah. But sure. boy, for us fans. You're welcome. <laughs> huh? You're welcome. You're welcome what? Watching From. people bomb. Who bombed? I thought that was your joke you were making. Oh, no. It was all the unfunny that I brought. Yeah, that was it. Like, no, yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's yeah, different yeah, yeah. though. I like, I like, I like that funny when somebody's on stage. You just did it right now. I know, I did it, and you didn't even Come take on, advantage son. of it. I didn't. I that was four years slam. All right, whatever. They gotta be a joke though. <laughs> you know, this you know guy, yo, you're bomb good enough. I know. Right? Enough. <laughs> give me one. Give me one. Give me one. Give me one. Go, 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 man. Go. Give a dad joke. Okay. Would Would you go around <laughs> the neighborhood? <laughs> yeah, go, go, go. How about avocados? If you don't sit your thick, fat fucking ass down. <laughs> you don't need no avocados. That's all protein with your thick ass. <laughs> all right, all right, yeah. Taylor. Taylor, give us your dad joke. I'd be so hyped for these I do. You're Yo, a hater. Wait, Taylor, what when you would tell your dad jokes and then people wouldn't laugh, would you get defensive and be like, yeah, if you had a dad, you would get it? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> probably I would. You right? You right? Okay, how right. many, uh, what kind of pants does Super Mario have on? What kind? Denim, denim, denim. denim. You knew that one? Yeah, he had me say it before to someone. Yeah. <laughs> You're a hater. You're a hater. You don't think that was clever, though? That was good. You're a hater. Okay, okay you won't like this one, though. Okay, go. You're, so, oh, of... you're so cute, though. Like, I love you. You're the best. Wait, uh, how come Barbie couldn't get pregnant? How come Barbie couldn't get pregnant? Yeah. How come? Because Ken came in another box. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. What's a lesbian's couple? What's a lesbian couple's <laughs> favorite singer? Scissor. Scissor. No, this is good. Scroll, <laughs> no, 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 no. Scroll down, Taylor. What else no, no, no. we got? Okay, now see, now we getting into some real brilliant idiot questions here, buddy. Okay. This is one of them ones, man. We might have to end on this one. You know what? Let's do, let's do uh Sham Khan 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 first. <laughs> and then we'll go back to Mercedes. Okay, okay Sham Khan Dun says, has creating content changed the way you consume content? Hmm, that's a good question. Wow. Wow. 
probably without realizing it, probably without realizing it, it has in some ways. Yeah, I, I'd have to actually really think on that one because I still think I want the same things from content. Like if I want distraction and I want to exist in like a fantasy, like superhero world just to get away from everything, then I'd still consume that. I wouldn't consume it any different based on the way that I make stuff. But that's an interesting, that's a good question. I have to think about that. What about you, Sean? Uh, sort of, kind of, because the content that we consume is dope, it's raw, but I still think there's a production value missing. That's why I loved what you did with the turn your phone, mm -hmm. because I feel like you elevated what everybody was already doing online. Everybody was, everybody's giving commentary, yep. but now let's, let's produce this commentary. Let's yep. make it look, let's make it look sexy. You know yep. what I'm saying? Let's give it, let's give it something, you know? Yep. So... For me, you know, it, the, the, creating content, I always want to create on that level. You know what I'm saying? I, I hear you on like, that. Like, I always want to create on that high produced level. Like Taylor, like, Taylor knows, like, I'm always, like, I'm big on imaging and production. Like, I want things to sound different and be se separate yeah. themselves from everything everybody else is doing. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, everybody's doing literally the same Tip of the spear. How right do you now. be the tip of the spear? How do you do something different from everyone else? That's right. Yeah. That's right. So creating content, it, 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 it change, the way I consume content hasn't changed the way I create content. And, and I know a lot of people like that. Like I know some people, you know, just having conversations with them and really getting into their thought process of how they do things, that's their mindset. Mm. Like, some of your favorite social media influencers that create content, they not just put, they not just, it may look easy. But now they putting the they, work in. They are putting so much work into it. And I and I, I respect it. All um, right, I think I know the one you want to ask. You know I do. And we're gonna probably end on this one. From merchandise underscore. That's right. Suck one dick ten times or ten dicks one time. Pride one. What would you do? This ain't no joke, bro. This is this one of them ones, yo. Suck one dick ten times. And keep in mind, it's gonna get harder. I, I know exactly what I would do. I know Chris, exactly what I would do. We have a very intellectual question we need you to answer. <laughs> Only you came oh, in. No, Chris, you came time. in at the perfect time, Chris. <laughs> Chris, suck one dick ten times, some ten dicks one time. I have the answer, and I would like to share it with you guys. Okay, when they say let's one hear. One time, are they like, like? No, no, you have to to completion. Okay. Suck one dick ten times, the ten dicks one time. Okay. Andrew Schultz. I would suck one. Sorry, I would suck ten dicks one time because sucking one dick ten times by that tenth time, it's going to take you four hours to get that dick to come. Oh, we're doing this all at one moment. Well, what would you like to spread it out yes. for the rest of your life? Yes. You're going to go through life knowing you got to suck dick on Thursday? Yes. Fuck no. I'm getting that out of the way. One day. You a hoe, though. I'm sucking 10 dicks in a day, dude. You be a whore. I'm sucking 10 dicks in a day. Like you like freak Nick Bay. Yeah. I had one crazy day. You had a crazy life. Because here's the thing. You're Nick. gay, dude. Here's the that's thing. gay. Here's if the you thing. suck dick throughout your life, that's, that's gay. Who, who looks gayer? The man who sucked... One dick on a man who sucked 10 different dicks. You wild gay. Mm. I might be gay, <laughs> but you wild <laughs> Irish gay. We go, <laughs> Irish <laughs> gay? Huh? Irish <laughs> gay? That's the whiskey, man. I was just trying to make a play on the whiskey. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck. So, you Bob, 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 his money. His <laughs> son, 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 what I did is, is, is gay, but we're going to move past that. We're going to get through it. No, you got no. 10 different people telling 10 different stories. I was gay one day. No, 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 no NDAs. I was gay for a Yo, day. Yo, that documentary is crazy. 10 guys all saying they got that fire dome from Schultzy. Bro. And they're describing you, right? They're like, yeah, Dude, yeah, what the is haircut, what does yeah, the NDA mustache. stand for? NDA stands for Nasty Dick Sucking Andrew. <laughs> all right, that's what that stands for. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm sucking one dick ten times. Yo, you're crazy. To that's, completion? That's love. Yo, bro. shut up, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, why Taylor make everything No, crazy. you in love, bro. <laughs> if you suck one dude's dick ten times, you in love, bro. But that's my whole point. Now you love a dude. I can say dude. I was yeah. in a relationship. No, you love him. That's fine. That's love, bro. I can say I was in a that's relationship. Wow. Yeah. Okay. You cheating on your wife? 
That's wild. You cheating on your I wife? Think, I think me and my wife can get past that. Ain't no way. <laughs> but no. if I saw 10, no way. 10 different dicks? Not one day. Get out the way. Yo, you was wilding. That's it. You got to blame that shit on drugs or something. Like Turn, turn the lights off. <laughs> turn the lights off. I didn't even turn, know it was turn, 10 dicks. Turn the lights off. I didn't even know. I was just star sucking one dick. And then it was 10 in there. Turn the lights off. Yo, that's off. the Wu-Tang Clan and one. There we go. 10? Yup. Mm. Now, I'm sucking one dick 10 times. That's crazy. I was in a relationship. That's you know crazy. what I'm saying? That's crazy. That's worse. Shit didn't work out. You know what I mean? Nah, bro. That's crazy. You're going to get good at it, too. Oh, yeah. You're going to learn what he likes. Light. Yo, you Yo, wild. You are wild, you, you wild for that show. Yeah, that's <laughs> super wild, bro. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. You in love with someone. You yep. got someone in mind. Come out. What? You know, he's going to let Alex skate past the, you going to get good at it? Like, how would he know? Wait a minute, at home. He, said, he, just hold said, hold he hold repeated hold the hold same hold shit. Hold no, he didn't. Hold he on one hear you. Like, hold the on way he was like, wait, 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 wait. I jumped on that shit too fast. <laughs> you did. Why you gotta get good at it, bro? Why you jumped on that dick? You gotta get good at that shit too. What is going on right now? What do you mean he gotta get good at it? What do you mean by that? How you gotta get good at it? Is that that's what you mean? You get your nails done, clearly. Whoa! Taylor is taking shots again. Oh, Alex, we can go bro. head for head. So we could, hey, yo, that's what <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got that one. At this sure. point, we don't know who be better. <laughs> nah, nah, we don't nah, know nah. who be better at this nah, point. Taylor got that. I want y'all to okay. answer this question and send it to us for real. <laughs> Suck one dick ten times and ten, ten dicks, dicks one, one time. time. So you get ten bad dick sucks. That's well, better than like giving. You gotta see the same guy over and over and over. I'm That's... fine with that. Pop, 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 Why? Why? Ten different dudes saying you gave them head. Yes. Yes, that was me. That was nah, I. Nah, man. By 2023 logic, I can say, look, man, I was experimenting. I was curious with one person. Nah. You did 10. You can't experiment 10 times. Bro. Yes, like, exactly. You did exactly. The experiment's over. If you suck we have the results. Times. That's a relationship at that point. Yeah, you are married. So what is sucking 10 dicks at one time? You That's just fun. a hoe. That's fun. You a hoe, bro. You That's fun. You big LGBTQAEIOU and sometimes why, bro? Big. That's me. But you... You. you would love a man. That's fine. I'm with that. But you love a man's dick in your mouth. One man's dick in your mouth. Yeah. Like, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's crazy. You love 10 men's dicks in your mouth. No, oh. I don't. I was doing a goal. What's the goal? I was, it was fear factor. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, was, it was just a feat of strength. You was that Burning Man. Exactly. You was on I'm going to be Burning Man. I was on everything, man. I didn't even know it was dicks. Exactly. They Boom. told me it was a faucet. I was thirsty. I was hallucinating. Bang, 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 bang. bang. Yeah, <laughs> that's you, it. You can't, you can't say that. I thought it was glow sticks. I thought it was glow sticks. You can't sticks. say that because dicks come in different sizes. So exactly. Who says be a big dick? Exactly. But imagine you love one guy's dick. <laughs> And you're yeah. like, nah, we need to run that back. That's crazy. Yo, what if it's that Bernie? You're gonna be like, yo, Say do what? that. What if it's that Every Bernie, Bernie man you do it? <laughs> no, just that one time in a weekend. Yeah. I sucked 10 dicks? No, and I sucked that one guy's dick 10 times. <laughs> yo, son. You are so gay. It's I know, son. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> son, that's crazy, son. Like, yo, this why is trying, wild. Why are you crazy? trying to create ways to. So, who is this man, yo? Yo, who is this man, yo? Yo, you know what's so funny? Yo, how I come out gay in a question about would you suck a dick or would you suck a dick? Yo, you're still gay, bro, because you're doing it out of love. Oh. I, you're doing it out of love, bro. If you do it out of love, oh. it's gayer, bro. Oh, man. Okay, guys. As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast, you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. <laughs>